alive. Right, just got a few bits to sort out. Still got a couple of bits to do, guys. Bear with, bear with. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you do? Let me just uh, test it. Yeah, that is the sun. Aye, aye, how you doing? Yep, cracking sunset. I wanted to get you the sunset. I want you to see the sunset tonight, so I've set us up right there. Lawrence, how you doing? Not total dip. JJ's in the house. If you look just in the bot to the left of the screen, that you might see a little round yellow dot. That is the sun. So the little yellow dot that's about here, that is the sun. So if I cover the sun here, you can see it. So you can see the sun perfectly. If it was an eclipse, you'd see it in that little dot. Miss Blue's in the house. Lovely to see you there, Miss Blue. You're right. Philip Davis, good evening. Lovely to see you there. Graham is in the house. Sticky Chan! Sticky Chan, Sticky Chan! Everybody else, come on! Sticky Chan, Sticky Chan, Sticky Chan! It looks like a big mushroom. It does. Yeah, big yellow mushroom. Stephen Buckley, how you doing? All right? So it might be a little bit breezy, but look at the conditions. What's really frustrating is we've got spring days and winter nights. So it looks beautiful out there and you'd think, wow, you know, we could get the boat out, but the temperatures will plummet because of the clear skies we've got. We're going to have something special in this sunset though with the cloud arrangement, the way it is around that sun. When that goes down, that sky is going to turn extremely beautiful mark alien head how you doing nick the fish how you doing i'm gonna get a bait in what we got right i've got a, a one up one down uh i've got a sheppy rig we're using a pair of double setups right i'll talk you through them so i want to put sand eel out because i want to target rays i'd also like to give us a chance of a smooth out so i've got a two hook rig i'm going to bait one up with sand eel one with crap i'm just hoping i've remembered the sand hill saying that i think i have the the, the flatty the other rig the, the 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 tiny one up one down which is small works is a flatty rig for the ragworm so we've got a scratching bait out there for flatties dabs small race flounder place tom how you doing mate all right and then we've got another rig out for the big flatties, um, you know, proper rays. So it's basically a ray bash with the, a flatty bash with the chance of a smooth out. Isabel Martin, how are you doing? Kayak Dangler joins us. Lovely to see you guys there. We're after anything flat. Yeah, it's SBUK. We're targeting anything flat. That, that's the goal. Anything flat or a smooth out, basically. Mark the B-Man is there. I'm going to get some baits on, because while it's light, we've got a chance of a place. So I'm going to get those ragworm baits on and get them in quick. Let's do that. You'll, it'll, you'll struggle to see the rods for a moment with the sun the way it is, but it'll be worth it, guys. Beautiful sunset coming up. First one we've had since last year. Uh, first one we've had. Ian, how you doing all right? You guys enjoy that sunset. Let me go and set up. Let's go and set these rods up, ladies and gentlemen.
Right, the ragworm bait is loaded and it's going in now. Right, I've got the sand deal baits, which is good. We have sand deals. Right, Sheppy rig crab on one hook, um, sandy on the other. It's going in now. Crab and sandy. This is it. The exciting baits tonight. Exciting baits. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Well, here we go then. Sometimes when we've got the sun like that, it causes heat waves on the camera. And the camera starts wobbling and that, or the picture appears to wobble. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Top Projects, how you doing? Ollie Ghost Fish is there. Dean is in the house. Squeaky clean, Dean. 
Looks very pleasant and calm. Oh, it's beautiful. Dee Bearcloth is there. Mick Herbal, like, okay, you're doing night fishing. Two pike, 16 pound, 10 carp over the weekend. Nice. Lovely, man. How you doing, all right? Just sharpening my knife while we're here, guys. The filleting knife. It's been a while since I've done that. Lovely to see you all joining us here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as we see the sun high in the sky there. It's an LMF sunset. John Hatton, lovely to see you there. John, I got a message. I do need a couple. Oh, blimey, that's well sharp already. God, that sharpness good. I do need a couple of them weights, John. I need the clock leads. Thinking about it, I went and had a look. I didn't think I needed any. But when I went out on the boat with Dave, I felt I looked in the, I grabbed three, and then I looked for some more, and I thought I thought I had loads of them, but the, it's the clock leads, the um, slightly bigger ones. Not they're not massive, but they're slightly bigger. I haven't got any with me to demonstrate, but I'll try and get a photo to you. Epic low, how you doing? Lovely to see you there tonight. Tangle tackle, thank you. Yeah, stunning views, stunning views. Right, that knife is now sharpened. I need to watch that. <laughs> Thought I'd cut my fingers off. Evening, Will and all, what a sunset. Yeah, yeah, I've set us up to get us that beautiful sunset last uh, tonight. Absolutely stunning. We've got to get that sunset in. Having you both in front of the camera. Dean, thank you. There, there was a sad story to last night, ladies and gentlemen. Veronica went in the sea. So Veronica is gone. I've ordered another one. It should be here hopefully tomorrow at the earliest and the next day at the latest. But yeah, Veronica went in the water while I was packing up. So I assume that because I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it anywhere. It was, it was just a mystery and we were both searching the boat for ages. Big Smooth Hounds come in shore in Blackpool. Wow, six ounce. Yeah, I think that's the one, John. Yeah, yeah, that worked. That sounds about right. Yeah, six ounce. Yeah, that'd be right. No, I know, I know. I know, Ollie, it's gone. There's some big old bass shoals working out here at the moment. Big old bass shoals, massive flocks of seagulls. Alan Masters, how you doing? I know, Dean, I know. Don't worry, it won't be long till we've got another one. I have got a load of spare at home, but I can't, I can't find them. I, I know I had two spare harmonicas. But I was searching from today. I can't. I can't find them. I don't know what I've done with them. I've put them somewhere. So I just ordered another one. The best sunset I've seen, Rick. Thank you. It's going to get a lot better with that cloud formation the way it is. You watch the colours we get when that sun goes down here tonight. Let's just have a look. At yeah, it's only going to get better. We've got a load of beautiful cloud coming towards it from the right hand side, as you can see there, going across and through the sun. As that sun goes down, it's going to turn some colours in that sky there. Great White, how you doing? I'm trying to find that Congress channel so I can send a super chat for biting your finger. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, dreadfully embarrassing. Over all the times I've been talking about Congress safety, I was just, I don't know what I was thinking. I just went to unhook it like a normal fish. I, I, weren't, I was so excited about being on the boat and that. I just, I just totally forgot myself stuck my finger in its mouth to take the hook out and of course biggest mistake to make with a conger reel he clamped down and bobs your uncle there you go first conger bite <laughs> tom yeah of course i am of course I am. i've got the guitar here i just haven't got um veronica so i'll be doing 100 like songs and stuff uh joy john goodman daniel rand lovely to see you there <laughs> All right, John, wicked, mate, wicked. The smooth hound are coming, John. The smooth hound are coming. We've got to break your PB, mate. Got to break it. <sighs> to be fair to you, though, you, um, at least it was small, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I was <laughs> very lucky. Jason Brad, Peter Reeves. Yeah, to be fair, John, you, you, you did set yourself quite a pb there actually at five pound that's a good stamp to break that'll be a nice challenge on the day i look forward to seeing you break that lawrence is in the house lovely to see you there lovely to see a picture of fartbox up again today 
do I miss the old fart box? Oh, like a hole in the head. <laughs> fart box gave me a lot of grief. I was glad to see the back of it, to be honest. It was a loyal motor, but didn't it give us some grief? Thank God we got a new one. Thomas Lewis, lovely to see you there. Lovely to see the Libertarian Minded joins us here. How do you do? We've got a beautiful sunset coming. So I'll just explain again. We've got a few more folk in. We've got Ragworm on the left-hand rod, one up, one down. We've got a Sheppy rig on the other rod, which is essentially, well, sorry, Tuak flapper, uh, and a Sheppy rig on the other rod, which is essentially the same thing. It's a Tuak flapper. Uh, but slightly larger circular hooks, so it's got two hooks on it. We've got sand eel on one hook and crab on the other. Lawrence, <laughs> I do love fart box, but that was the final straw for me. That was the final straw. That little bolt coming out, it was just easier for me to buy a new one. I hope you guys managed to sort it out, but you got to be so careful with that bolt. It's going to get stuck. You're going to have a nightmare with it. Libertarian minded, looks gorgeous. Esther's here, lovely to see you there. You just need to catch a smooth hand, it'll be your PB. You will do. You will catch a smooth hand when you come here. They, they will be everywhere by the time you arrive. Honestly, they'll be all over the place. High tide tonight, uh, I'm gonna say roughly around 11 o'clock. Because it was roughly around 10 o'clock last night, <laughs> something like that, it was after 10. So it's gonna be around 11 o'clock tonight. So we've got plenty of time. We've got ragworm baits as well, so we've got a bit of worm baiting. We've got to be careful here with big fish baiting. Oh yeah, bass, a nice bass was caught yesterday. Not far from here, so it's nice to see those bass coming in. Sean Moore, how you doing all right? It's the first bass I've seen caught on a ground bait locally that's a decent size that's been posted to the group. So it's about four and a half pound, that's a good sized bass. You know, if we catch some white bait, we might be able to nail one of them here tonight. It's 23, 25. There you go. There you go. We've got ragworm, so we, we're going to use it because we, we won't be taking that out again. You know, once when we get ragworm, we like to hit a spot with it and use it that night. So we'll be running ragworm on that left hand rod all night. We've got loads of, well, we've got a couple of prawn. We've got a couple, several baits with us. But we'll have one rod running on worm for the night and one on the... Um, the other baits we've got, we've got some mixed baits and crab, prawn. I think I've got the last crab on there at the moment. Bass fishing with Paul is in the house. Lovely to see you there, mate. Thank you for joining us here where we get to watch a stunning sunset. It's been the first one this year that we've actually set up on to watch. So we are set up on a sunset here tonight, guys, to watch that beautiful sun going down here this evening. Ryan Tune joins us here. Ryan, lovely to see you join us here. Thank you. Busy on the beach. There's a few dog walkers, as you can imagine. No fishermen, though, which I'm surprised at. Mind you, that's probably because of all the dog walkers. <laughs> they know. Hey, 100 likes, ladies and gentlemen. Da, 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 da. Thank you everyone, what a beautiful sight Tonight Oh hang on, what happened there? Did that line just drop? We'll give it the benefit of the doubt for a minute Came in to chill, had well not too good live band to people Sorry, Paul, I'm not sure what that means. Came in to chill, had well, not too good, live band two people. Oh, right, you came in to chill, you had, Will, not, you had not too good live, you had to ban a few people. Bass Fisher with Paul, is that your, you've had, a, am I reading that right? You went live, but you've had to ban some people from your live. Libertarian minded, how you doing tight? Like, your lines are tight. Yeah, they let the right one drop a bit, but sorry, it might have been something going through. Sorry, sorry, I thought something happened. Michael Manning, lovely to see you there. Oh, 100 likes. Thank you, everyone. For the likes, you're done. Check out the sun. 
Thank you for the 100 likes, shooter. Absolutely amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much indeed. So you know the score, ladies and gentlemen. It will probably get the bike pick up when it gets dark. However, we've got an edge here tonight. We've got ragworm baits. So we've got as much chance of getting a bite on that left down rod in the day as we have at night with those fast baits on. You know, if the fast baits are slow, you know there's a problem. And I call the ragworm the fast baits because when you've got bream in and all that, they are gone in seconds. So we're going to see what can happen here tonight. You know, we haven't had a bream this year yet. Well, from beach or boat, actually, but we'll see. What happens here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? You know, we'll see what comes out. Tide's reasonably low here. We're over flat, sandy ground, ideal for rays. So the target is flatfish species of all kinds. I'd like to see a, a flatfish here tonight of any species. Any species. Oh, okay, Basswish with Paul. Yeah, that's the name of the game, unfortunately, mate. You're going to get. You know, you're live to the world. You're live to the world. You're going to make friends, you're going to make enemies, you know. you just got to deal with the pressure because you will be put under pressure. And you'll either it, it grow to get used to it as part of the game or you'll give up because it'll be too much grief for you. All right there, Fisher Folk. What a great sunset. Summer's coming, Tommy. Summer's coming. Yeah, absolutely stunning, that sunset. I wanted you guys to see it. You can already see the colours changing in the sky over there, guys. It's going to be stunning. Stunning! Can we get any more of that cloud in? We can get a little bit, actually. What about that there? There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit not quite level there, are we? Hang on. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wicked. That's awesome. Bass fishing. I'm just starting out, Todd Projects. Wicked. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're saying that's awesome. Best for, to bass fishing. Right. You're just starting out. What? YouTubing. Just starting out YouTubing. It's fun, but you know, it gets. You know, it can be not fun at times. The larger your channel grows, the more grief you get it's just part of it until eventually you know it gets too much but we'll see how far we can go hey eh? see how far we can go we're still enjoying it it's not too bad at the moment look at the sunset ladies and gentlemen it is going to be stunning libertarian minded thank you i wanted to catch it tonight we got here bang on time for the beautiful sunset i set up quick yeah you gotta take the good with the bad you just got to stand up for yourself. That's all you got to do. Stand up for yourself. Simple as that. Come on, the hounds. Where are you to? We're fishing the south coast of the UK, Thomas. Well, uh, well, have you had much problems with people having a go at you? Ollie goes fishing. Best wish of If you get what I did today, this is the best place to come. Uh, something about Will that chills you out. Yeah, I don't go into the grief. I've got too much. I don't like to bring it up. If you always talk about what you've got, you'll always get that grief, you know. You manifest what you discuss. If you keep talking about getting grief, you'll just get grief. So I don't, you know, I just give him Paul some advice. But I don't really go into the grief I get because it doesn't matter. It bounces off for me. We don't want you guys to see it too much. Lynette, how are you doing? I mean, I did put a post in the group this morning. <laughs> I did put because it was sort of funny. It made me sort of giggle, you know, the angle that some of the hate comes from. But, you know, it is what it is. It was actually nice to see that that guy was still following me. He's been on my tail for years, that one. It's probably since I first started out. I hadn't heard nothing of him until yesterday. You read it, Paul. Yeah, I, I haven't heard nothing from that guy for years. And then there was suddenly that last night. So he picked his opportunity, he just messed it up a little bit. It was the wrong sort of thing. Hound Dog Hunter, how you doing? Lovely to see you there. Hound Dog Hunter, those hounds are on there. Oh, yeah, well done on your catfish. What was it? 42 pounds or 45. Absolutely stunning. Look at this sunset with someone walking along the beach. 
Oh, it's just ideal, wouldn't it? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful view as she strolls along the beach in the sunset. Philip Brown is in town. Lovely to see you there. That right-hand rod's a little bit low. A little bit low. Here we go, ladies. She's wearing a bobble out. Well, that's her hair. It might just snag on the line a little bit. How dog hunter, 45 pound, mate. That's it's all right, it's all right. She won't sure. Go on, I've just waved her through. Please don't catch the line. There you go. She's all right. There you go. Sweet. Duck. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's all right. They were quite high, but I saw I could see it was above her head then. That's lucky. She was in a world of her own until she got right there. I don't think she even realised I was here. Holy freaking dragon, beautiful sunset. I fed a seagull today by hand. It's been ages since I've done that. You know, it all feels very summery around at the moment. The seagulls are getting cheeky. So I filmed it as well. So I'll be putting that up as a short. He was well tame. Really, really tame, this seagull. He flew straight over to me and... If he could have landed on it, he probably would have, but he grabbed the old chips and that I was feeding him. you got to do a feed in the seagulls live sort of thing, aren't you, if you're by the sea. Awesome fishing man, how you doing all right? Lovely to see you there. Todd Project's a nice one. Giving some subs out. Dishing out the subs. So yeah, beautiful sunset coming, ladies and gentlemen. We've got ragworm bait on the left. We've got a, a two, both of the rigs are tuuk, they're doubles. Uh, what, um, tuuk flapper rigs on each rig. One of them's a flatty rig, so it's got all the colour beads on. One of them's a sheppy rig, tuuk sheppy rig, circular hooks, sand eel on one, crab on the other. Uh, the left hand, that's the right hand rod. The left hand rod has got the flatty rig on. Tiny little hooks, ragworm. As good as anywhere in the Caribbean, yeah, it is stunning. Because of that sea, I mean, look at it. But it's enticing, it's dangerous, you know. It looks so flat and beautiful out there, you know. You want to get your boat out, but gets cold later, and then it's, you know, trouble. Top projects, wicked, mate. Okay, all right, hopefully, well, we'll be on for a while. We're just starting, so hopefully we'll be here on your next lunch break and that. Do stop in and say hello. Always nice to, nice to chat as we see what we can catch. Hopefully by the time you get back, we'll have had something. We are fishing for flatties, any type of flat fish, whether that's a ray or a tiny little flounder, a dab, anything from a dab up to a ray, form back, stingray, they're starting the show. Stingrays are starting the show. Won't be long till we see them coming out. You're good, thanks, Will. Still a bit sore. Had a tattoo done on your hand on Thursday. Nice. Have you been out fishing much? You brought a pair of... Didn't, did you buy a new pair of rods? Was that you? Did you buy a pair of six and baits? Was that you or someone else? Todd, take care, mate. Hopefully we'll see you in a bit later. We're going to be enjoying a very, very beautiful night here, but calm. A perfect burnt orange sunset. Jan, you're legend. Legend! Yeah, you watch the colours that sky goes in a minute. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, great white racing and fishing. Thank you. The finger's all right, you know. It, it bit my broken finger as well, so I was lucky it didn't twist because that bone might have come out. A bit the one I broke on the um, rope swing. This one in the middle here, where that bone sticks out the side. So I was lucky it didn't bite and spin, else that it might have caused a compound on that one. That finger gets all the worst luck. Lace, great whites racing and fishing. I haven't got um, Veronica, I'm gutted. Flatty only fed off the bottom. Yeah, yeah, I assume so. Yeah, flappers work. Yeah, anything you could you can pin to the ground. Well, they like a bit of movement as well in the tide. Can I have a nice place, please? A place, as in the fish. You spelt it as in a, a, a town. Uh, great white racing fishing, you absolute legend, mate. You absolute legend. Da, 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 da.
There you go, I could do it on the guitar. Send you a pick of a smooth end I caught last night. Right, hang on. Mick will be late, back later. How you doing? Uh, was one in, is it south coast you're on then or west? South. South coast, ladies and gentlemen. Great white racing and fishing. You get to pick a super jet subject of your choice. Should you so wish to do so, you legend. Oh yeah. Yeah, nice. Nice little smooth hand there, mate. Done well. Where was that? Yeah, that was off the beach. Oh yeah, you're quite a way away from where I am. Any fish anywhere, Rods? Right, and you, oh, incoming. Incoming to our left-hand side. Wait for it. Wait for it, ladies and gentlemen. Bow, 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 bow. It's the 18. <laughs> Target acquired, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Local marks, Target acquired. <laughs> yeah, beautiful subject. Sandwich drop. Uh, great white race and fishing. You get to pick a super chat subject, a, a hyper chat subject of your choice, should you so wish to do so. It looks like shoals of fish moving on the wall. Oh no, it's the helicopter, isn't it? The helicopter wake hitting the water he's bringing you a drop off <laughs> wow well, and there's a plane up there dropping out the sky by the look of it it's coming in hot gonna check that worm bait in a second just make sure it's still there as you join us here for a beautiful sunset in a bit i'll have to put the camera down like that so we can see all of the rod and that Dry Stuart, how you doing, alright? Lovely to see you joining us here this evening. I'm gonna go and check the ragworm bait. Airwolf, that's it. It's fish locker dropping in. <laughs> That'd be nice again. Yeah, and hopefully my live stream wouldn't buffer for the entire time he was here. I was gutted about that. You know, because that's rare that John's down and he's only ever stopped him once I mean because he's only ever been up here once that I've known but yeah I was gutted about that really gutted don't let the sun go down on me I won't let the sun go down right let's check that worm bait Worm's still there.
Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the sun's nearly gone. One man, this African twin, joins us here. As the sun goes down, the temperature starts to drop. My head and ears starts to get a bit chilly. I think I'll be using the old heater tonight. The old heater tonight. We'll get that in, Stephen Merchant. Mullet, mullet man is back in the house. Mullet man, how you doing? Nice to see you in a live feed the other day. I can't remember where it was. I think, was it Bet Loop? Or, oh no, it was um, Pontoon Jody, wasn't it? Pontoon Jody's catfishing. So as, I, as I've mentioned before, guys, when I get home from night, at night, I'll often put on another live feed while I'm just sat there doing stuff, doing the edits on this video. And I was in Pontoon Jody Catfishing's live the other day. They do this great thing where they get like multi-screens going on and and they all fish well early in the morning for UK sort of watchers. They're five hours behind. And I popped in there, mullet run was on there. So it was, uh, yeah, nice to get in there and say hello and have a quick chat and then dash off after, do, do the bits and bobs. Do they have a bits and bobs there to David? So I often watch those and, um, oh, hang on, is that a rattle on that right hand rod there? Hang on, rattle on the right hand rod, is it? Just a tiny little nibbly rattle on that right hand rod there, is it? It's developing, isn't it? Is it? Hang on. Could it be a crab trying to walk off with it? Or actually seaweed going down the line? Steve Davis joins us here. Steve, lovely to see you there. It's all right, right hand rod looked like it had a little motion there, but it doesn't look like it's gonna go. Ken joins us, lovely to see you. I'm gonna be getting the heat, the heater out here tonight because it's gonna get chilly. So we've got some heat, I can't believe it, right? I've been buying my heat in, Phil Hole gate is in the house phil lovely to see you there thank you for joining us i've been buying my heating gas cans in this place in town i can't remember what it's called like some proper camping shop for like a tenner a tin no eight eight quid a tin i think anyway i went into the last car saloon and noticed they sell the tins that are twice the size for half the price well, they're seven quid a tin, they're the same price, but you get double in it. So it's essentially two for one, half the price. Absolutely just disgusting. Oh, we've got a couple of um, people here. One man and his African twin, you absolute legend. Right, hang on, we've got some folk walking in front of us here. We don't want to... Hopefully they're okay with being filmed. Yeah, they're all right, they're all right. They're good. Not yet. No, I thought I had a little bite a second ago, but very quiet at the moment. Cheers. One man and his African twin. EU legend. <laughs> Wait for it. Top fishing blokes, lovely to see you there. Sheena Roaster joins us here too. Ladies and gentlemen, one man's African twin. You get to pick a super chat subject of your choice too. Absolutely you do. Absolutely you do. Jackie is in the house. You're out near the skate park cafe with fingers crossed for a fish. Well done on that ray last night, Jackie. Well done. Raymond of Cumbria joins us here. You're at the skate park. Park. Right, where's that? That's oh yeah, you're up round the corner. Then you won't see us. Dogfish need love too. <laughs> Is that the subject of your tune? Isn't that what you chose the other day? <laughs> Haven't we done that one? Dogfish need love too. You'd need love if you were a dogfish too. And that's what you'd get if I caught you. William Batters, I hope you're feeling okay today. We give a dogfish loads of love, then let him swim away. It's what we do, give a dogfish love too. You should too. Give a dogfish love, it's what we do. The same sort of love that we're showing you. 
Cause a dogfish needs love too Oh nice Jack Dogfish need loving too Absolute legends. One man is African twin. Thank you so much. Andy Cole, lovely to see you there. Home slice. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, we did a dogfish one the other day as well. We love the dogfish, ladies and We love it. We love it. So we've got a crab out there. We've got sand eels. What I'd like is for when that sun goes down a little bit, if I can dash over to the side there and maybe grab a few crab out the rocks. You know what I mean? A few crab out the rocks. Because we might see a smooth hound here tonight. They're starting to show, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome, my man, this African twin. Thank you, mate. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You're out fishing tonight. Uh, been out a few hours, nothing yet. Hoping as the tide starts to rush in, the light fades and starts seeing bites. You will top fishing blokes, guarantee it, guarantee it. You're doing good, slept well last night and just finished my dinner. We had rice and onions curry. Nice, rice and onions curry, ooh. Home slice, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's still attached. <laughs> it's still attached. Yeah, quite a cl little clamping force on that little terror last night. Right, the sunset's sort of gone down, so let's turn you a bit more this way, guys, so that we can, let's keep a bit of it in, but so you can see me go down to water if we get a good fish and we have to fight it in, you want to be able to see it. Fursy, how are you doing all right? Lovely to see Fursy. CJ's Angling Adventures, sunset is amazing. Looks like Mars in the background, yeah. Yeah, it's sort of out of the, um, oh, what's that film with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Total Recall. It looks like that sort of Mars sunset. Yeah, top fishing blokes, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it when we catch these sunsets from the beach. Oh, well, and from the sib, actually. Yeah, it's a shame. We've got sun, sun, uh, summer days and winter nights. It's horrible. But the bass were shoaling everywhere there tonight. It'd be great when the weather warms up, we can get out on the sib and we can smash into them bass shoals on the lures before we go and do a night's fishing, you know what I mean? It'd be amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Coastal Marquee joins us here tonight. Lovely to see you there. I'm gonna bring that right hand rod in and check it. We had a couple of rattles earlier and the line did drop in earlier on as well. Might, might be seaweed. Seaweed might have run down it, but I'll bring it in, check the sand eel, check the crab, <coughs> get it back in, top it up, chuck it back in. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Beach Boys music, <laughs> Clyde Digital. We can't do copywritten music, so I get in trouble. I do have nights where I sort of, you know, go a bit rebellious, but I always get in trouble with YouTube the next day. Uh, Dan Compton Angling, lovely to see you there. Yeah, copyright is a nightmare nowadays, it really is. When I do a copy, couple of copywritten songs, it's usually when we at the end of a quiet night, so I can edit them out and we lose the chat, but it doesn't matter too much because we haven't caught nothing, you know. But right, let's go and check that right hand rod. Starting to get dark now. This is the time when the bite will pick up. There's nothing on it. Right, the sand eel's gone. The crab
crab is still there. I'm baiting up a load more sand deal. Let's <coughs> get it back in. Just had your first tippy tappy, nice. Yeah, there we go, just as it starts to get a little bit dark. As it starts to get a little bit dark, ladies and gentlemen, we hear of the first tippy tappies. That's what's gonna happen when that sun goes. There's still a little bit light here for us. Still a little bit light around this corner, but we'll see. Maybe they're making their way round from your end, Jackie. And let's see how it goes. As we wait for the first tippy tappy, we know what's going to happen as soon as it gets dark, ladies and gentlemen. Tippy tappy. And it's exciting this time of year, you know, it's exciting. We could see some pretty fantastic bites going on here. It's that time of year now. Absolutely fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Waiting for Tippy Tappy. There you go, there you go. Left hand rod, right hand rod, Tippy Tappy. Just as that sun goes down, here he goes. Wait for it, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder if it's having a go at the crab. I wonder if it's having a go at the sand eel. Both of them on that rod, we shall see. Out it goes, ladies and gentlemen, tippy tappy. There we go, there we go, tippy tappy. I'm surprised it's not on the ragworm bait. I'm really surprised. That's either on the sand eel or the crab. Probably the sand eel, because if it's, it's little taps, if it was a, sand, a crab, it'd be a big old, you know, potentially even a small smooth hand would give, put a bend in the top of that rod on a take, a little take, or a little nibble, but... Something having a go at that sand hill could be pout. Possible pout, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, pout with now taken out. Steve Davis, thank you. You're welcome. It's stunning, mate. A eh? stunning, absolutely beautiful night. It's going to be a bit tricky setting the camera up. Uh, the light, sorry, because I've put the I've got the rods at a bit of an awkward angle straight on the sea so you know you can get to see everything and because the north the um winds are right behind us yeah robbie how you doing all right billy big bass yeah 
good chance of one tonight as well after seeing what's been coming out if we could get a pout bait out there later or a whiting i haven't brought any with me because i want to target rays really tonight there's a lot of rays being caught in the solent like a lot of them so they're they're out there but they're from pup right up to you know double figure rays they're they're all over the place so we're we got a ragworm bait on the left hand rod little colorful beads all over the place on that and uh sandhill and crab on that right hand rod both two hook flappers one's got big circular hooks on and the other's got tiny little hook, circular hooks on ideal for flatties wednesday caroline joins us here Wednesday, lovely to see you joining us here this evening down on a bit of local marts by the beach. Oh, Bass Fishing with Paul. Hey, a community song. Keep up the good work. Bass Fishing with Paul, you absolute star. Martin Ball, how you doing? You absolute star. Guys, amazing support again. Kicked off with great white racing and fishing. The legend. You Epsis, so we got a load of lads walking past, wait till they've gone past or they will ridicule me for sitting here and playing community songs and singing out some rather bizarre words. Because <laughs> I can imagine you guys will throw quite a few strange ones in just as they're walking past in front of us. <laughs> just wait for them to dash through, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want to create too much attention to ourselves really hang on there was three where's the other two gone oh they're staying over there skimming stones oh they're coming this way oh i thought it was a pack of three lads it's not it's one dude walking along the beach he's all right though he's all right ollie goes fishing you legend thank you so much indeed cheesy beans cheesy beans <laughs> Meant to say all good thanks, cheesy beans. That's fishing with Paul, thank you. Hi Lawrence, e. Hi Lawrence, e. Mamma mia, Mamma mia. Here we fish again, be here. No scales. <laughs> I've got scales today and I brought a spare set as well so spaghetti cheesy beans and a Metallica good evening folks I'm new here hope everyone's enjoying their Sunday high steam cold nights nice bites coastal market Conga finger, yo. Chip buddy, am I the only one that half hopes to see a UFO when out night fishing? No, there's a couple. Akios, I'm not happy. No, Philbert, Philip Arden, no. Lovely sunset tap on the left hand rod this time. Pickled eggs, flip, beef, flap, beef, flap, flops. Lava dog fish, yay. Farbox one, we'll see you again one day. Welcome, Anna Metallica. Oh, yay. I love it. Yeah. Thank you for the warm welcome. You're welcome. Let's get a fish done. You absolute legends. Oh, I was holding the cord. LMF family, bravo. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll, I'll get in trouble if I play too much of that. You, you get in trouble. They do, yeah. They usually don't like it. They don't like it. How do they like it? 200 likes. Oh, wow. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and stick. Uh, relax. Hang on. Right hand Rob went again then. So like fishing with John Lennon. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. And Spanish music and guitar. I'm in Spain, music and guitar. It's brilliant. Such a good song. Yeah, it's Metallica, Nothing Else Matters. Beautiful song done for their drummer. 200 likes. <laughs> I don't know what that was. 200 likes, you legends. We've done it again. 200 likes tonight, you legends. Let's get a fish that causes physical pain. Like the Congaree last night. He was a proper little sha la 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 la. Thank you for 200 likes. Ladies and gentlemen, you are absolute legends. I got this really so hang on. Oh, oh that was a left hand rod, a good tap there. And the right, hang on. That right hand slow developing there, hang on. Right hand rod slow develop there. Left hand rod's gonna go again. Right, hang on. We got something pulling that right hand. Well, it could be a crab actually. Keep an eye on it, hang on. Getting a little bit tippy tappy now. That sun's going down, ladies and gentlemen. We're seeing the tippy tappy. Four twenty fisherman is in the house. Lovely to see you there. How do you do? Swifty joins us too. Zoomed in. Yeah, I and I will I zoomed a better sunset than you. <laughs> oh hang on, it was the same one. <laughs> oh fair enough. Thank you. Left, right, left. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is a bit like that at the moment. Left, right, left, right. It's good, but, you know, it, it's sort of showing that there's a few, there might be a few whiting around still and a few pout. That's good. We see some, uh, see how it goes. Steve, I went some lines last night, fed some, fed some crabs. Oh, no. The, the darker it gets, the more active the bite will become. So we just got to sit it out till it gets dark there'll be something on one of them rods soon we're getting bites all over the place right and one's going again it can't be crab it's not all crab there's no way some of them are proper little rattles i think we are getting some pulls from crab but here we go right and rod again i think we're going to see a smooth hound here tonight you know on one of these rods i think they'll pick up either of the baits we got out there you know sand hill they'll probably go for that we definitely got crab on they'll have that and when it gets a bit darker i want to try and grab some crab from the rocks over to the left of us here coast guard helicopters coming back out i can hear it taking off incoming there he is coming straight over the top of us Oh man, I just lent on my brand new bucket and broke it. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and the Sandman. <laughs> Very good tune. No, I don't know that one. I don't know any other Metallica other than that one. I mean, I could read a tab off and play it, but I'll get lots. So I'll get in trouble. YouTube, you get in trouble for it. Guys, keep an eye on them rods. I'm going to run over and see if there's any crab there quick. Bear with me, I'll be a couple of minutes. I want to see if I can grab just, even just a couple so we can keep a crab on the at least one of them tonight. I'll be back in a sec. Guys. Keep yourself entertained. If that rod goes, grab it. I'll be two minutes.
Right, I found two crab. They're perfect size. I'm gonna bring both rods in, rebake, get them both out, put a crab on the right hand rods. And then I'll get these lights set up in a minute. Sandy was getting hammered. That doesn't matter. It just, hopefully, a ray will find it as attractive as whatever else is hitting it. Right, crab and sand deal. Check the worm bait as well. Still a bit of worm on there, so it's not getting hit too bad.
cutting the worm in half because we haven't got loads of it. Not that it matters. We got enough bait to run two rods all night either way. Oh, there it is. Oh, man, look at that. Right, we've got a rhubarb and custard sky going on. What is going on here? It's a sign, ladies and gentlemen. It's a sign. I need to move that light actually out back here a bit. That's not hitting that rod properly. out there that should give us the tips a bit more yeah there we go there we go ladies and gentlemen wow just wow what a sky amazing thank you for sharing all the links guys as always incredible incredible as we watch a beautiful sky and proceed to fish into what is going to be a very chilly but nice evening. I mean, you know, Whiting are on their way out, so the rods might not keep us warm. <laughs> but we should see Tippy Tappy throughout the evening, I suspect. You know, as soon as we put the rods in early with fresh baits, they were getting hit. There was still a bit of water, uh, wor oh, hang on, that right hand rod, worm on the bottom hook of the ragworm. So whatever was hitting them was mid water, so probably pout or whiting. But we'll see. As I say, loads of rays out there. We're fishing for flatties. We've got four baits in. Well, three baits geared to flatties. So one up, one, uh, two at flapper on the left hand rod, two at flapper on the right. Uh, three hooks set for flatties, one for smooth out. Ragworm on two hooks, sand eel on the other. So they're essentially our flatty baits and crab on one of the hooks, which is our smooth out baits. We do have prawn, Atlantic King Prawn. Those proved very popular with the smooth out last year and very reasonably priced this year. Two pound a pot, two pound of pots, almost two pound of shots. Oh, it wasn't scrolling. Sorry, guys. Clyde Digital, uh, farewell and adieu for you, fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you, ladies of Spain. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, what's in the legend? Stacky, totally awesome. A music box. Any luck? Not just yet, Connor. We've had some tippy tappy. Evening, everyone. Wow, what a view. Faded sky at night. Angler's delight. Sheep drowned in the morning. Global warming. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful sky. Look at it. Would you look at that? Rhubarb and custard sky for the rhubarb and custard rods. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that. You know, unless we're stood here with a massive smooth hand. Ping Ping, how you doing? It's been ages. I haven't seen you for ages. Oh, it's from Jaws, is it, Clyde? Ah, right. Oh, boy, Fred. I thought you were saying farewell to our beautiful Spanish ladies and gentlemen in the chat. We do have a few here. Uh, Peter Reeve, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, postcard view. It's absolutely stunning, eh? Absolutely stunning. Yeah, that is a beautiful summer sky, but it's a beautiful clear sky. Well, it's a clear spring sky, but those temperatures are going to plummet tonight as a direct result of the northerly winds. 
and, that, and those clouds in the sky that you see there, they are the only clouds in the sky. It's going to get chilly. Yeah, I mean, there ain't a cloud anywhere else. That is it. You're trying to create an atmosphere. Ooh, nice. A Jawsy atmosphere for the Jaws that we might catch tonight. We could catch a gummy shark here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're hoping for. One of them or gummy ray would be nice. Love the thumbnail, Dean. Thank you. Yeah, Philbert thumbnail. Some people do create these amazing digital thumbnails and send them in. And, and sometimes I, I can use them, you know. They're cool. Steve C, evening, Will. In work here watching. Hi to all the LMF family. Oh, brilliant. Keeping you entertained at work. That's great. As long as you don't have an accident. <laughs> as long as your head doesn't turn as we catch a massive fish and you get stuck in something or something happens. It's all good. Do be careful if you're watching LMF at work, ladies and gentlemen. And if you've got work the next day, remember it's recorded. So you don't have to stay up all night and go to work tired and have an accident. Oh, you have a good view of the Lyrids tonight, Steve. Oh, is it the Lyrid Meteor Shower? Oh, we might have to point the camera up like that tonight then. Something like that if we get a bit of old... Uh, meteor coming in and they do come in right in front of where we are as well you know through the sky <laughs> now i mean just the angle they usually come at is right there in front of us shooting past the top of the isle of wight you'll have a bump or two <laughs> peaks tonight does it yeah oh wicked oh yeah scott we can yeah i know i know no i lost it I totally lost it. I mean, I've, I've no idea. No idea what I did with it. I mean, let me check the pockets here quick. Glenn Pellet, lovely to see you there. Roger Wilcock joining us here. You all right? So I did have my bag with me. And... Nah, it's gone, man. It's gone. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Lovely to see Glenn, lovely to see Roger. Thank you for joining us here this evening. Guys, I might just run over to them stones again in a bit and have a look for some more crabs, ladies and gentlemen. Jerome from the Netherlands joins us here tonight. Lovely to see you joining us here for a bit of local marks fishing down on the shingle. Thank you for 233 likes, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to smash that like button as you come in. You don't have to, it's just nice. It's just something to say, isn't it? <laughs> do it at like button if you like and do subscribe if you're watching. Do subscribe if you're watching Lazy and gentlemen. Uh, absolutely fantastic as we wait for Tippy's Happy on the rods, ladies and gentlemen. They are quiet at the moment. Funnily enough, just as it was getting dark, we had loads of bites. I thought that would get a lot busier. Is that rhubarb and custard you have out tonight? It is. It is rhubarb and custard. They're 4.2s. So the other yellow rod and the black one that I use, they're 4.5s. These are, the, the pair we've got here are 4.2s. So what it sometimes looks like is that I've just replaced custard with another rod, but that's not the case. If there's ever a black rod next to the yellow rod out there, it means we've swapped both rods to the 4.2s because all of the black rods I've got are 4.5s, uh, sorry. I believe that's the case anyway. I I'm not, I can't remember if the six and bait is a 4.2 or a 4.5 that we've got. It may be that I swapped the six and bait as a 4.2 and the other one as a, a 4.5. I can't remember. It gets confusing, ladies and gentlemen. It gets confusing. We want to be together. Wait, if. Waiting for Tippy Tappy, ladies and gentlemen, here this evening. There's every chance we could see a belter of a take on the rods here tonight. I can't wait for the smooth out. Out to the beach Tuesday evening. So if you're on a party, so if you're on a party is due. Oh, if you're on a party is due. Right, got ya. Nice. Head into the beach Tuesday. Yeah, we'll probably be out. 
it looks like the weather stays chilled until net the first of next month so i've um i've looked at the weather and it's too cold to go out well we've got a storm coming it's developing out there it's been forecast for the past couple of days it's on its way and then it looks like that clears the air too cloudy in cornwall yeah hopefully it clears up we've got a beautiful sky here it might cloud over a bit later then but with the temperatures dropping i believe it's going to stay pretty pretty chilled here tonight clear sky with those sort of cold temperatures but yeah we've got some really strong weather coming in and it'll probably be a thunderstorm as well one of those summer like spring cold fronts sitting the warm front and then big old thunder and lightning i'm hoping so anyway we we'll get to film a bit of that we almost had a lightning storm the other day but it was moving away from us it's a little bit gutted about that but yeah from the 29th weather's the, the temperatures start to rise but we've got the back end of this storm so it's well windy so we won't be able to take the boat out but it's looking like from the first of may it's going to be all right oh we shall see ladies and gentlemen then it's only two months till july La 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 Plenty of smooth round pups around. So with the small crab baits we're using, we should pick up a pup, I reckon, tonight. We'll see. I've got to go and check them rocks again in a minute because that tide's coming in. We don't want... If they cover the rocks, we won't be able to get the crab. So, guys, I'm going to run over and check the rocks again. You keep yourselves entertained. If those rods go, just grab them for us. Just grab them, and uh, you can reel them in. Um, and then I'll be back in a second with some crab, hopefully. About the same amount of time it took me to go over there earlier. Now it's dark, they should be coming out to the surface. Make sure them drags are set. Oh, that one will do it a bit more.
Right, oh right, hang on, let's put them over there. Right, we're starting to see some crab moving in around the rock now. Right, we've got five crab. I think two of them are probably a bit too big for our purposes tonight. We want to start off a bit smaller. We've got a couple of really big crab. Two, hang on, hang on, hang on. Fish on. Fish on. I was lucky, he spat the hook. He spat the hook. A doggy donut, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't had a doggy donut for ages. Paul Bluebird, say you're doing. We got a doggy donut, ladies and gentlemen. What they'll do is they'll often go into this sort of ball and then in the tide they roll away. You can sort of bowl. Whoa! Sorry, fella, sorry. Sorry about that, you're right. You can sort of bowl them back into the sea, but I'm not going to do that. Let's get him back in, get bait back in. He took a ragworm bait, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get him back in there. He's staying wrapped up as a doggy donut. I'll keep an eye on him and make sure he unwraps. But he's, he's curled up in a ball and that's how he's staying.
you have to make sure is that the tide doesn't wash him back up. Beautiful, uh, ladies. OG, uh, Ollie goes fishing side for us. OG, hold him. Not a smooth round pup. It's a dogfish. Yes, yeah, it's a dogfish. Oh, that was a dogfish. That one, unmistakable. Curls himself up on a, in a ball. Rough skin, horrendous little terrors of your bait. But a lovely fish, of course. Dogfish need loving too. We love them really. I love it. But like I say, when you chuck them in, you got to make sure they don't wash back up. You finished fourth, Glenn, on a couple of dogs, yeah. Oh, right, okay. We got worm baits on here, left hand rod, sand deal on the right, and crab. So, what two hook flapper, left hand rod, two, two worm baits, right hand rod. Two hooks sheppy, so essentially a flapper. I'm going to call it a flap, flapper tonight. Uh, that's got two hooks on it as well. One's got a crab on, and one's got sand eel. And that's how we're going to run them until the sand eel runs out, and then we'll put on mixed baits. The combos you gave us, actually, Glenn. Steve, I love it. I love it, ladies and gentlemen. Sunday evening, ladies and gentlemen. Sunday, yeah, rock salmon, that's it. Yep, rock salmon here tonight. We've landed a rock salmon. Oh, it makes them sound so beautiful, doesn't it? And, you know, sought after. We're, uh, we might use that in future, actually. <laughs> yeah. You know what you're fishing for? Well, you know, might have a little blast with some rock salmon and that. <laughs> Shane, how you doing? Hello, Will and all. How is hillhead fishing? Any idea? Uh, Ray's. Rays is all I know. There's there's a chance of rays, but you might get there. It might be quiet. You know, there's a lot of people fishing. I'm hearing of them coming out on competitions. So where you've got a lot of anglers, they're catching them, and there's a lot of rays being reported as being around. But you know, as an individual angler out there, there's a lot of dogfish. You know, if you can get through the dogs, you've got a chance. The smooth hound is starting to show tonight on the beach here will really set the precedent for how it's fishing because we've got ragworm with us and that's what a lot of people use you know they grab a bit of rag and they head down to the beach to, to fish we don't usually use ragworm so that left hand rod there depending on what happens will give us an idea of what things could be like for the average angler grabbing a pound of rag and heading to the beach i think that's a fair fair statement to, to give on ragworm uh, I know I don't fish like every other angler, but that their ragworm baited hooks, the fish should take them. All right, Shane, yeah, definitely worth a go. There's there's rays coming out. You know, if, you, if you're good at ray fishing and that, there's a few few about up Hill Head End, sort of through Daedalus, I've heard they're, they're showing. Daedalus, Hill, all the way along to Hill Head. JF Bard, how you doing? But kickers chucking them up as well. They're just right through. There's just a good chance of race. Wish I could catch a dogfish last night, Ollie. Yeah, yeah, a bit quiet. Was it that quiet? Yeah. That quiet. Yeah, we've we've had, we've saved the blank, but that's always going to happen when it gets dark on worm baits. You know, the wall was packed. 
No reports on catch. Really? That is bad. What Hillhead Wall was packed. Oh, there must be word of hounds being caught there then. Yeah. For it to be packed, they must be really starting to show. Mind you, they're getting a few on the comps. I know they've been showing over the... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Eastney? Eastney. 15 anglers, not a touch. Really? That is bad. Wow, well, God, I think things are doing a bit better here. Southbourne was the same, no fish. Oh, blimey, it seems like the Solent ain't fishing too bad at the moment then. I see a lovely little flounder caught here the other day. Well, not where we are here, but out of the Solent. I know when the hounds are in, you can't get space. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, you can't get up there. Especially in the day. With what you gotta get there well early in the morning, you know, to fish it in the day to get a space. They've they've banned people parking sleeping vehicles there. Because people were camping there for the weekend, so you couldn't get a space even if you got there well early in the day. Because the campers are there. But now they've put this thing up where you're not allowed to camp there overnight. So you should be able to get a spot if you're there early. Four fish between nine at Southbourne. Wow. Wow, that is mad. Yeah, so we've done all right here, really. Getting one so far. But, you know, we want a little bit more than that. I might just bring in that right hand rod and check them sand eel again. I want to keep a sand eel bait on there because of all these rays that are showing. I might just combo it up with a sprat this time. Try and make it last a bit longer. Hayley, how you doing all right? Late to the live. How's everyone? We are very well. Very well indeed. Just waiting for some tippy tappy extra plus tippy tappy 2.0. We've had uh, a dogfish already. And a few taps, but I'm going to bring that right hand rod in. Like I say, I'm keen to keep a ray bait in. A large ray bait. We've had rays take crabs, so essentially every bait in really can be hit by a ray. But we'd like a hound as well if possible. So I'm going to go over there. I'm going to put some sprat and sand eel on now. I know people have been catching the rays on the sprat. Skeet joins us here this evening as I go to rebay with sprat. And stand here. That's the first, the baits are still there. Ow! Hook in me hand. They're deadly, them circulars. Yeah, it's all still there. I'm going to attach a bit of sprat to it anyway. Actually, no. I'm going to load it with more sand eel. That's what they're catching them on, that's what we need to use.
right, fresh sand hill. The crab is still on there. Twisted my foot a little bit on them rocks. Twisting crab, twisting crab. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, now. Oh, we've been twisting the crap, yeah. You know you look so good, look so good. You know you look so fine, look so fine. Come on, twist a little closer now. They don't have the six and bait and pen five two five tech question. Lawrence is off to bed, mate. Take care, Lawrence. You absolute legend. We shall see you again. No doubt. Looking forward to hearing some updates from Jack up the beach as well to see how he's getting on when he gets some tippy tappy Lynette the legend waiting here, ladies and gentlemen, anticipating. Watching, waiting, anticipating. It's time to eat some chicken. Ujima flips, what are they? Raiders. One bream, one South Sea, one undersized ray at Lee, mainly dogs and a couple of things and pout. What are you out fishing now, Glenn? Have you had a ray tonight? They are out there everywhere. Have you had a ray tonight, Glenn? Are you literally out fishing now? There's ray everywhere. I knew we'd hear a report of a ray. I'm hoping we'll get one. We've got all of our rods really are geared, well, three of them geared specifically for ray, but they will pick up the crab as well. Oh, last night, Glenn, that's still good. Yeah, there's ray everywhere. Jack had a ray as well. They're all over the place. Loads of little baby rays as well. Yeah, loads of little baby rays. We want to see if we can grab one out of here tonight. It's funny because a smooth van will take at least three of our baits and a, and a ray will take three of them. Because the smooth van will take both the worm baits and the crab. And the ray will take both the worm baits and the sand hill. So we're in a good position here to catch a decent fish, hopefully. And see how it happens. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's nothing like a bit of food to stop you passing out. And a little bit of drink. Beautiful. Guys, getting well dark as we see the first twinkling of the stars to our left hand side as we await what could be a meteorite shower. Ladies and gentlemen, the Perseoids, I believe, someone said. Perseoids, Gemelids, and Lyrids, I'm not, I can't remember, it's one of them. We might see some extremely fast stars shooting through the atmosphere tonight. As particles of stardust enter the atmosphere at the speed of sound. And then some. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. 
Hopefully the rays are still about when I come down next month, Ray. Yes, hopefully so. Ray, have you been in touch with Mad Vet? Have you two conversed via Facebook? I believe there was an attempt to get a connection between you two via a Facebook link. regards the fishing session that may well will definitely will be taking place hopefully the weather's good for it on the day it's hard isn't it when we're booking ahead because you just don't know what the weather's going to do but hopefully it'll be beautiful and in the run-up we'll see a beautiful day coming when we're like a week before and it says that day's going to be a hundred degrees and zero wind yeah Waiting for the tippy tappy to go. What meet your shower is there tonight? Well, I'm not sure exactly what one it is. Someone did mention it earlier on in the chat, but I can't remember. And we've got a clear sky. I haven't seen any yet. We usually do. Apparently it peaks tonight as well. So if they start falling, we'll see them. They usually come through this, this way, straight ahead of us. Out to sea, we see them shooting through. So we'll see how it goes. No, I need his name so I can send him a friend's request on Facebook. Ah, oh, I think, oh, right, I was mistaken. I thought you'd been sent a link, right. He's on the Facebook group. Hang on. They make everything up, Skeet. Love it. Never trusted Adam. They make everything up. Yeah, wicked. <laughs> Hold up then, um, Ray. He's on the group. But you just wouldn't think it because of his his name and obviously his YouTube name. Let me go in and see if I can find him. He's he put loads of posts up. The uh, D-Day has arrived, Dean. Lovely to see you there. Right, bear with us, Ray. I'm going in. You, Ray, yeah, you're on the group, aren't you? Oh, wow. Thank you, uh, Lynette, for sharing the post picture there. Beautiful. Right, bear with me, guys. I know he put a few posts up the other day. Seven little bitches. Just going through the posts to find his. Let's turn the volume down a bit. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Sorry guys. Sorry, I know. I know. That's why I shouldn't be playing with my phone. But hold up. I'll find his name here. Yeah. We just had Tippy, Tappy, on the rod, but he wasn't there. Oh, there he is. Um, oh, Lyrid, meet your shower. Right, got you. The Lyrid. Oh, there he is again. Right, hold up. Oh, I'm so close to getting a... A link here for Ray. So hang on, him. Right, hold up, guys. We got something checking this bait out. Two seconds. So looking at the bait. Right, Mark. Picture incoming. There you go. Right, I've sent you a photo, Mark. I read, read a book on anti-gravity, found it impossible to put down. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Gee. I'm going to check this bait in case he's on. It's not there, but I'm going to check the bait. I 
It might be smooth hound, you know. Picking up and letting drop in the bait, they do that. Smooth down puppies. Oh, so I better just let you know before we get a big fish on one of them rods, if it happens, we've got really light rigs on both rods. Now we're not mega light on the on the Sheppy, but lighter than I usually go. If we get a big fish on one of them rods, it could take me half an hour to play it in without losing it. So if we get a big fish, take either of those rods, I've got to be very careful and play the thing in because I'm not confident we can just bully it in on those rigs, but I'm confident we can land it. I just have to be very careful. A few small bites up this way, nothing landed. Small squid baits, one up, one down. Squid crap bomb on the other. Okay, yeah, we're, we've, we're getting some pretty good bites here. We just had some cracking bites on that a ragworm. He took one bait, then he came back and took the other one without getting that tiny hook, and that tells me it could be a hound pup out there. We might have hound pups in front of us here. We've had a dogfish. Yeah, hats move out, so we'll pick a bait up and swim around with it and then just spit it out. Brimley Carl from Ronda, how you doing? Hope you have plenty of tippy tappies tonight. Thank you. We are getting some tippy tappy. That right hand rod just got bumped there. Just a little bump on that right hand rod. We are getting plenty of knocks. We've had one dogfish already, so reasonably slow start on the fish. Waiting for the magic to happen. Ragworm is like gold. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I believe they were getting some in the shops today, this morning. What'd you get if you cross a hand bird's leg with a salmon? Bird's five fish fingers, oh God. Oh, dearie me. I found so many masters at school. So many, I can't count. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Right hand rod tippy tappy. again
<laughs> I don't know 25 letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. <laughs> Sean, fantastic. Off for the week. Time for a beer and some fishing. Awesome. South Coast Droves is in the house. Uh, Mr. Two, I, Matt Call MT Call Two, Mott Call Two. I can't work it out. It's not a word, but hello, welcome. <laughs> it was negative. <laughs> a TV advertised for just one pound. The advert read volume stuck on high. I thought, well, I can't turn it down. Oh, very good. Oh, horrendous. What guitar do you have? Uh, this one is a Wins, a Wins guitar. Verzi, how you doing? It is a, a very cheap Wins guitar. So it's W I H. Oh, hang on, W I N Z Z. Really cheap, nothing special, because they get hammered by the wind and it rots them and that, and they get damaged. Oh blimey, South Coast drones! Yeah, I bet you're shattered. It's a long old day. That is a long old day. They chew you. <laughs> oh dear. Absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Pitch black sky in front of us, ladies and gentlemen. The sun has gone. It did have his hip hat on. Hip 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 hooray. It's no longer got his hat on and it is no longer day. Thanks, Will. Live sent mad veteran a message. That's all right. Oh, you've sent, I've sent veteran a message. All right, wicked. You're welcome, Anna. You're welcome. It's an absolute pleasure. It's what we do. It's what we do. We fish, we chat. But yeah, I'm, I'm, but I'm not very good. I, I know all the open chords. I've forgotten more than I know on the guitar. I used to be really, really good. Now I'm not. I used to be very good on it, but I can't. Will catch a fish. There's too many bad jokes going on here. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Hey, Rids, how you doing? Lovely to see you. To see you lovely. Any supernatural things happen when you're fishing? Uh, I, d I No, I don't believe in the supernatural. So you're asking the wrong person. But there are people that do believe it and they might have seen something that they believe to be supernatural. Ollie goes fishing, egg and bacon, walk in a restaurant. Waitress says, sorry, we don't serve breakfast here. <laughs> oh, dearie me. You saw a man playing Dancing Queen. And it did you do. I thought, oh, it's an ever that's an Aboriginal. <laughs> oh, dear. What is it called? A running turkey. Fast food. I was out last night and got hit in the head with a can of soda. Good job, it's a soft drink. Oh, dear me. Frankie, how you doing, all right? 300 likes, Roy. Wow, guys. Blimey, that flew up on us. I didn't notice that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made here tonight 300 likes. Thank you so much, indeed. 300 likes. Everyone, now we're talking about the setting, the setting of the sun. Now everything's done. Paranormal and sort of UFO, I don't know if you're referring to the same thing. One exists and one may be out there. One may exist and one may be out there, sorry. <laughs> oh, 
200 likes, she had 30 legends. 300 likes, sorry, I got that wrong. 300 likes, she legends. This is a 300 likes song. Ooh. Guys, thank you so much indeed. You absolute superstars. Superstars. Yeah, I mean, not because I don't necessarily believe it myself, it doesn't mean it's not there. So everyone's, you know, it's a fair view. It's a fair view. You know, if people believe it, uh, that's absolutely amazing. Yep. It's only because I haven't seen any proof of it. That's all it is. If I saw that there was proof of it, I would believe it. But I've never seen it. Everything I've seen has been discounted. I know there's no alien life that's flying around up there. Not within our universe anyway. And uh, as far as paranormal, I've never seen anything paranormal, ever. And if, if they were there, I think they'd want to, us to know it. Hang on, left hand rod, left hand rod. Fish on, ladies and gentlemen, fish on. Fish on. It's coming in. I wonder what he is, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't feel like he's fighting like a smooth bound. Could be a big old dogfish. He's on the worm bait, ragworm. It's a dirty dog. He's a doggy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get him back in. I'm old enough, they can't fresh around and that. Let's get him back in there, ladies and gentlemen. It's another doggy. Right, here we go. Usually it's whiting we get on the worm baits. They seem to pester us, but dogs tonight. Fast bait doing the job, slow bait, still waiting for something to happen on that.
no evidence of smooth hounds at the moment. We've had some fish pick up the baits to drop it. The, uh, the only dollfish that can blink. No, it's sharks hold my beer. Sharks. Sharks are the only species that can blink. And dogfish are in the shark category. So any shark can close its eye. They're the only fish that do. Well, the only species of fish. Yeah. Who let the dogs out? Ooh, 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 ooh. I know, I know, but it's still the early doors. Early doors, ladies and gentlemen. Early doors. That water's getting very, very close. I did, it was a bit risky where I set up. I put us well close. We might have to move them rods later, but I don't know. Nine, let's have a look. Oh no, we should be all right. We should be all right. Fo Sharky is in some of the species. <laughs> yeah, I hear a lot of stories. I suppose they could be true. All about love and what it can do to you. If I don't stop looking now, I'll be left behind. And a good heart these days is hard to find. I know. Because I think about it all the time. Peter Reeve, I got the sack from the bank last week. Customer asked me to check their balance, so I pushed them over. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah, that's quite good. Nice. Gary Scott joins us here tonight. It's Gary, lovely to see you joining us here this evening. While we have a go at seeing what we can find down at the water's edge. We found two dogfish on worm baits. No whiting yet, and no apparent whiting tippy tappy. Uh, well, I mean, just as soon as it started getting dark, we saw some little uh, sort of pools, but, but looked a bit crabby, it was hard to say. But now all we're seeing are half decent knocks, and it's turning out to be dogfish, but we'll see what else we can get. We'll see what else we can find here. We want a flat species of fish. We know they're out there. The ragworm should do it. Sand eel and crab baits we got in on the slow rod. But we'll see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen, as I look to crack open a ham and cheese. A baguette, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's have a look. Is that right? Smoked ham and mature cheddar. I brought it last night, but I didn't eat it. So I didn't bother going to the shop today. Got this. <laughs> it's sandwich time. You had your flatty on worm. Nice, Gary. Nice. Snacky Jan, post. Yeah. We do a bit of post. It will. It's dogs all night. At least you can beat your record of doggy. Oh no, we'd need them to be biting a lot faster than they are now. Our dogfish record was crazy. I mean, we was getting hammered every bait. We've only had two and it's hour and a half till I tied. Oh yeah. Nah. We'd definitely need more than two an hour. We'd need three an hour to beat that, I reckon. At least, well, to beat it, probably four an hour. And we've only had, what, two in, two out, one an hour. The dogfish rate at the minute is two an hour. Two hours in, we've had two dogs. So you'd need that to be three or four an hour, really. All oh, right, and Rod had a little bump there. Little bump, I don't know if it's gonna come back. It's good that the right hand rods sit in there a bit longer. It gives another fish time to find it. You know, the dogfish are fast motoring around the seabed. They'll pick up those fast baits on the left hand rod. The slow bait there, nice slow race sauntering along the seabed there. 
We'll have time to come across that, hopefully. Uh, home slice. Yeah, I believe they are. Oh, hang on. Our oh, dogfish are species of ray. Oh, I'm not sure about that, actually. I know that ray are a shark species that are flat. But be it dogs being in the species of shark and that. They're, they're a type of shark, yeah. Could be ray species, I'm not sure. I think they're in a sort of specification of their own in the the, the cat shark specimen category. Oh, it could be said that a ray is a type of shark and a shark is the type of ray, I guess. So in that respect, I imagine that's true to some extent, but not entirely sure how much. Gary, thank you so much. Yes, the finger has survived, luckily. Very, very close call yesterday. If that fish had been a big one, I would have been in big trouble, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> but no, I survived. I kept my finger. Yep, don't know what I was thinking. Oh, right hand rod gets a tap. Hang on, left hand rod. Gonna go. You're having a look. You're having a look. I reckon that's hounds, that one. It's hard to say. Right, there'll still be a bait on the other hook, so we'll leave it there. He's hit one of them. I mean, the baits could still be on that one, but there's two baits on there. Connor, that's all right. Yeah, we've had two dogfish, two dogfish. <laughs> Finger looking good. <laughs> Ian, it was very good. He was on it like Sonic, that eel. He smashed my finger. Smashed it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it was extremely amusing. For some, not for everyone. But I found it very amusing indeed. It was good fun. And it's um, one of those risks when you're fishing for the old conga. Nice, mate, beat the blank. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we're beating the blank at the moment and the bites are still coming as we get towards high tide. I love it! I love it! <laughs> I love it, ladies and gentlemen! Wait for more tippy-tappy on that rod there, ladies and gentlemen. Last night's stream of the Solent Warrior Wheel. Great to see a 24, 24 hound on the hook. Yeah, they're on their way. There's plenty of them out on the boats, but they're just not quite in at the moment on the beach. Andrew Morse! Hey! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a mouthful of sandwich. Andrew, you legend. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Fish on. Oh, I'll there. Got a fish coming in, guys.
Ladies and gentlemen, a micro, a doggy donut. He looks like a slug rolled up. We got a slug rolled up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get him back in, he's a puppy. Let's go and chuck him back in. Oh, hang on, hang on. Fish on. We've got another one. Another fish just on. Oh, this one's Larry. Right, so two and a half hours, bite rate, whoa, he nearly had me then. Four dogs. Now the bite rate's going up, we could beat our dogfish record here. We're on four, I think our, bit, our record's 11. We don't want to beat that. <laughs> Refresh, get these baits back in. Fresh crab. Sandhill bait still good. <laughs>
Well, that was a mad couple of minutes, guys. Wow. Dogfish smashing us on all the baits. Ladies and gentlemen, you absolute legends. Andrew Moores, you are a superstar. Please do pick a super chat subject of your choice, should you so wish to do so. Yeah, it's funny, last night we were live on the boat on my other channel. But I've only got 1,500 subscribers on the other channel, so loads of people missed it. A lot of people turned up and said, I didn't know about this channel, but we're always sharing the link to it, and I'm always shouting it out. So if you want to get on that other channel, you best jump over there, because we'll be doing a few teams on that. We, we've got them coming up this month with Ray, a mad vet, hopefully. We've got loads of them coming up. Ollie's got to pop out at some point. You know, we've got teams in the, in the booking. I reckon the sea will is casting into Batsy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Batsy. Dog time. Brent, how you doing all right? How's yeah, here, mate? Just trying to eat a sandwich here. That's why the rods are going. And me, Gary, yeah, and you, Gary, yeah. We've got some teams going, and uh, Jack. Versey. Versey as well. So we've got a few teams ready to go. And then, of course, there's a last-minute drop of the at ones, like last night. That was literally just a quick call. Were you about tonight to fancy popping out on a boat? And it was like, yeah, let's do it. I mean, I only got the call because I was awake anyway, so I stayed up all day. If I'd have gone to bed, wouldn't have worked. You just managed to dogfish on a sliver of sprats. Nice, okay. Wicked. All right, that's what it's all about. You've got your first dog in. We've got four so far. I'm hoping there's something else out there. I mean, we've got a lovely variety of baits on. If they're out there, we'll find them. South Coast Drones love the team's channel. Yeah, mate, it's a good channel. It is a good channel. It'll be exciting. We're getting to that time of year where it picks up. Never new to this channel. For, I was new to this channel three weeks ago. Now subscribe to the other channel. Brilliant channels. Wow. Thank you, one man and his African twin. You are... Hang on, hang on. Right and Rod. Hold up. Right and Rod just had a tippy-tappy there. One man and his African twin. Thank you so much as we see the right and Rod. Take a little bit. See what happens. Sand here on crab baits. Oh, they'll just put a new crab on there. Simple Ben is back. My friend went fishing to call Pike. Got bitten as he was putting it back. And his phone fell in the water at the same time. Ouch. Out oh, cat scan. Very good, Sean. Well, I will send the date shortly for the next month. I'll be down on that date for definite. Yeah, send it over. Send it via the um, messenger. And I'll write it in just so I know. And then hopefully, like I say, it'll be... Good on the day, and the weather will be good. Just keep an eye on it as it we get closer. What's that really bright light to our left-hand side? Is that a shooting star coming straight at us? Oh, my God. Here comes the... It's the end of the world, ladies and gentlemen. There's a massive, bright asteroid coming straight at us to the left-hand side, ladies and gentlemen. It's been beautiful knowing you all. It's the Perseoid showers. It's true. <laughs> It's good. Uh, here it comes. It's coming straight at us. Oh my God, it's the end of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been lovely knowing you all. You've been absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Oh, hang on. It seems to be changing. It's red shifting. It's red shifting. That's weird. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the he end of the world as we know it. Oh! Oh, he was having a go.
Ooh. I might start calling these the McDonald's rods, ladies and gentlemen, because we're getting lots of tippy McTappies. Oh my God, the asteroid has been sucked back in towards us by Earth's gravitational pull. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh my God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? All we was doing was fishing. That's all we was doing. Start singing again. Oh yeah. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. Yeah, the fish usually love it, don't they? The fish love it. Oh, hang on. It's an helicopter! <laughs> it's an helicopter! Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, false alarm! False alarm! It's not the end of the world, <laughs> oh dear God. Oh, it's all right, hang on, let me ring my parents. Let me ring my parents. It's all right, panic's over. There you go, put the phone down. Oh uh, yeah, we're okay. <laughs> Tippy McTabbies. You like it when they tip all the tackle. It's the end of the world as we know it, but I feel fine. But I feel fine. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. A chippy choppy. <laughs> it's a chippy choppy, ladies and gentlemen. A chippy choppy. Copter, another follower. Yes. Yeah, they're just showing off for us. That's what they're doing. They're just showing off for us. Hang on. Left hand rod, good little knock there. He will definitely come back. He will definitely come back. Wait for it. I should run over there, but I don't want to get too excited. It's about to go. Get, keep an eye on that left damn rod, ladies and gentlemen. Keep an eye on it. Million to one, but still you've, yeah. The chances of anything taking that left rod are about one in one, he said. Keep an eye on that left damn rod. Raymond's off to bed. Raymond, take care, mate. You're a legend. We'll see you again soon. Flyber the second. Look, helicopter, ladies and gentlemen. Keep an eye on that left damn rod. So I thought it was going to go. Sammy definitely had a look. Daz Jay joins us here. Daz, lovely to see you there. You should join us for Tippy Tappy. Tippy Tappy. Hang on. It, actually, it was a nice little rattle. It could be a little flatty of sorts. It's just, it's not doing it now. Just took another bite of my sandwich. The roll. Yeah, I might have to check them baits in a second. We've had a couple of good hits on there. Give it another couple of minutes. I'll bring that left hand rod in and check it. We've had a good bite and then a little nibble there. It could either be nibbling what's left of the first hook bite or taking what was. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Go on. Do it. Oh, he's. He wants it. Could be a little flatty nibbling at it. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't think it's a dogfish. It's just a little bit more ag aggressive than a crab. So I think it's something small. Could be a whiting. And the return of rhubarb and custard. Oh, what's that? Oh, whoa, whoa. That ain't snow, is it? What's that? Oh wow, we got some mad phenomena going on here. What was that? 
Oh, that was well odd. Yeah, that's... Hang on. It's coming down again, I think. What's that? Whoa! The chopper's leafleting. <laughs> Confetti. Yeah. Oh, that was weird. Oh, look. What is that? It's all floating in the air. It's floating in the air. It, whoa, it's everywhere. What is that? What is that? Oh, oh, it's beautiful. It's floating in the moonlit sky. The people far below believe they're going to die. Yeah, I don't know what that was. That was odd. Right, let's check that left hand rod. It might have been some backwash from the chopper. Get to the chopper. Oh, there's something on this. There's something on this. And it ain't a dogfish, I don't think. A whiting. We've had a whiting. Two seconds, guys. Oh, we have caught a whiting, yes, I can't believe my eyes, it's floating in the air. Right, we've got a whiting, that'll do. We'll have him on later. It's floating in the moonlit sky. The people far below are sleeping as we fly. We've got a decision to make here now. I know there's some big bass being caught. I think we should get that whiting on, onto a pulley rig. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's something on this as well, wasn't there? Something hit that as I was picking it up. That was weird. That just got hit. 
I'm swapping rods because we're keeping the worm bait on. I'm going to put a bass rig on over by the rocks. So we need to throw this one left in a minute. Sorry, I'm looking the wrong way. I'm going to bin off the idea of a ray and go for a bass. Well, it'll be a bass or a big old conga that will smash this rig I'm putting on now. Let's make sure we get the right size though. What's that one? 2 -oh. We want a 4 -oh. Flatty. Flatty. Pulley. What's that? Mm, conga. We don't really want... What's that? 3 -oh, that's not bad. We've got a 4 -oh. oh, that's conga. Flatty. 1 -oh. 3 -oh. Probably 3. Looks like I might just have 3s here. Yeah. That one's way too big for beach. Right. Yeah, we might have some whiting coming into the area because that rod was getting hit as I picked it up a minute ago. The worm bait is still a deadly bait, but we're, we're coming up to the golden hour here. So if we can get that light, that, uh, that whiting out there. I think we could see something really special here in the form of a big congrel bat. I mean, we haven't had a fish on this rod all night anyway. So we might as well. Will we watch her? Right, just bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. 
for a couple of minutes. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a whiting on the left down rods. We've got double ragworm, one up, one down on the right hand rod. And we're approaching a really good time of the tide. Definitely worth a punt. We've had some deadly deadly bites on those whiting at this time of year. Drew, how you doing mate? Lovely to see you there. Uh, is that Raymond? Raymond, yes. Yes, well that's what I'm thinking. What we have had happen actually, and let me make sure the drag set real loose, is they've come and they've smashed the, the bait off, like bit it in half and that. Or they've tried to run and the the line hasn't been slack enough, so let me just slack it off so they can run if they need to. It's ridiculously slack. That's silly slack now, very slack. Because what we've had before is they've bitten the whiting and swum off with them, and they've come back with a bite mark in the middle. Uh, Ray Sings is in the house. Hope to see a nice bass tonight then, Will, or a conga. Yeah, it'll be one of each. If it, if that bait goes, we will know about it. There'll be, it'll be no tippy toe. Ignore any tippy tappy you see on there. If that rod bends double, fish on. If there's no, if just little tippy tappy, it's just little fish pecking at it. But if that bends double, Boom, shakalak, rude boy. Piecing the puzzle together, not snow, but potentially tree pollen from the low flying or aliens. Oh, yeah, Ailey squins. Ailey squins. Maybe it's a sign. It's a sign. His demons were here all along inside us, waiting for a sign until Satan gave his word and destroyed the world we knew. No, Nathaniel. Oh no, Nathaniel! <coughs> no, Nathaniel, no! There must be more to life. There has to be a way that we can restore to life the light that we have lost. No, Nathaniel, no! There must be more to life. <laughs> <laughs> 
Didn't I warn them this would happen? Be on your guard, I said, for the evil one never rests. The evil inside them grew and grew until Satan gave his word and destroyed the world we knew. Once there was a time when I believed without hesitation, scooby dooby dooby doo, that the power of truth and love would conquer all in the name of salvation. Incarnation of Satan's creation of all that we dread. Scooby dooby dooby doo. When the demons arrive, those alive would be better off dead. Do 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 do. It could be. Who knows? War of the Worlds is on the TV now, Swifty. Is it? Yeah, yeah. This is Greg and the Plunky Merman. <laughs> yes, the Funky Merman. There must be something worth living for. Even something's worth trying for. Even something worth dying for. And if one man can stand tall, there will be some hope for us all. Somewhere, somewhere in the spirit of man. Do do do. Do do. Really wish I had a video of Nathan at the wall. We were packing up and a rod and stand flew down and he jumped after it. Wow. War of the Worlds is on your TV too? Yeah, what? So was he, he was at quite a steep bit, was he? And he just jumped in. Yeah, I mean, at this time of year, those drags have got to be set. He, you know, you've got the smooth hound coming in. He's got to have them drags set or he might hurt himself. He could have broke his leg or something, you know. Oh, Ken, take care, mate. Yeah, Sunday night, early doors. Early doors. Racing, Ailey Squins. Ailey Squins. Yeah, you've got to watch out of that wall. It can be dangerous, man. But well done to him. He jumped in. He grabbed the rod and he landed a four and a half pound bass on the end of it. But that's going to happen a lot, you know, if, if that's inclined to happen on that rod because smooth it under coming. And they, he won't stop those when they go. Ten pounds smooth on that rod is gone. But a beautiful fish and the rocklin as well. Free bit of rocklin, lovely to see. I've only seen them coming out there by those big white rocks. May have been pollen. Did a quick Google. Mermaid stand draft. Oh, mermaid stand draft. I like to think that mermaids don't have any dandruff <laughs> and that they're just beautifully perfect. Just had a baby ray. What? Well, we got ragworm out, so it might happen. Well done, Jack, you legend. He's smashing the rays. Look, he's never had a ray, you know, he's catching them every time he's out. Turn it in. You're at your normal spot. He jumped down knees first. Oh, he didn't want to lose. Oh, your rod. Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, right. Now I see. It was your rod. Right. So he had to save it. Another nice fish. Oh, yeah, because he lost that conga, didn't he? The, the What could have been a £30 plus. Yeah, right. So he learnt from that one. They're coming to take him away, take him away. The men in white coats are coming to take you away, take you away. 340 likes, you legends, lovely jubbly. As we fish here tonight and see what we can find. Uh, rod, that left hand rod is a sleeper rod now. It's out there, it's on a, you know, it's got a white in bait out. It's gonna sit there quite quietly. But if it goes, holy moly, ladies and gentlemen, I've set the drag well loose so the fish can just take it away if he wants to, give it a little while and then plow, rip its lips off and bring it in. Send it swimming up your way. <laughs> Cheers, Jack. Thank you. Well, I'm fishing a good spot for him. There is a chance we'll see one and we've still got a good ray bait on. I mean, I've had Ray Tate Whiting as well. But uh, we've got ragworm bait on, double ragworm. So that's just as good a bait as any for them. 
They love a bit of ragworm. What <laughs> a rip it slips off, yeah. So, no, I'd never do such a thing. It's just the terminology. <laughs> we let him run for five seconds and then pow, put a bend in that rod. Or rip its face off and bring it back in. Lovely jubbly. Bring in the head of a 10 pound bass. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa! Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! another cheeky chappy ladies and gentlemen they're a lovely color look at all the marks on him he looks amazing doesn't he let's get him back in and then um grab another one There he goes. Quite a few dogs around tonight. I want to try and keep my lights off the water a little bit with that bait in close up there. It's probably about 50 yards that wide, 40, 50. Yeah, a little tap on that right hand rod then just as I got to it it went but little dogfish dogfish number five hmm yes still good time of the tide though where are we 22 face we've got an hour till I tide this is the golden hour and we've got a golden bait out there as well in that whiting 
a golden bait, ladies and gentlemen. We really want that to go. I'm fishing a spot that I was hitting last year hard and we were getting the bass, although it was the end of the year. That's usually when I fish for bass, the end of the year. Because I've seen one come out now, I think it's worth just getting a ting out there. Because there ain't many ting left. So I'm thinking those bass will scoop up any they find. And scoop them up quickly. You know. Perfect timing for a good one. Yes. Yep, the golden hour. Be nice if we could get another white in just in case that one's hit and we can get another one straight on if we miss the fish that takes it. But yeah, four pound plus bass will hit that white in, no problem. We just have to wait and see what happens, ladies and gentlemen, as we go into the golden hour. Ching, 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 The golden hour here on Local Marts Fish's live show down at the beach, seeing what we can see, what we can find. Ragworm bait on the right hand rod, two hook flapper. It's a flatty rig, but we're catching dogs on it. It's all that's taking it at the moment. But we know there's loads of rays about. Jack's just had one. Again, jammy. Absolutely outrageous. But we'll see if we can find one here tonight. Down by the beach. Oh yeah, one whiting. I forgot about that, Lynette, thank you. Yeah, one whiting. We've had one whiting. Five dogfish. Lucky guy, I guess. Yeah, you done well, Jake. Honestly, yeah, well done. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just a lucky man. Oh, no, that's the wrong song. I'm just a jealous guy. I didn't mean to hurt you, Scooby-Doo. I didn't mean to make you cry. Oh, I didn't mean to hurt you, Scooby-Dooby-Doo. I'm just a jealous guy. I was feeling insecure. Scooby Dooby Doo, you might not love me anymore. And Scooby Dooby Dooby Doo, I was trembling inside. Scooby Doo, I was trembling inside. As soon as I started using a bit of sprat, the bite picked right up. Yes. Okay, well, yeah, let's see how it goes. We've, we've got ragworm, we've got to use the ragworm, and ragworm's a good bait. You know, we're getting the hits on the worm. Hits on the worm, hit it, hit it, hits on the worm. Hits on the worm, hit it, hit it, hits on the worm. But yet, yeah, we're getting tippy-tappy on the worm. I got five on it. Grab your four, let's get weird. I got five on it. And then let's go have some five. Come on, tippy tappy. Grab your four, let's get keyed. I got five on it. Messing with that in the I got five on it. Got me stuck and not go back. I got five on it. Honey, let's go have some stack. 
Well, I have one squid crab bomb, about five big sprats and two squid. I'm packing up in a minute. Do you want them? Oh, what is it? One squid? Yeah, I'll take them. Yeah, why not? You're packing up? You got work in the morning or something? What's wrong with you, man? Come on, man. You've had a right. Oh, I see. Smash and grab, is it? Hit those rays hard and then enough home. Oh, it's all right for some, isn't it? Getting into all the good stuff and then being able to pack up and head off. Turn it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bring it down, mate. I'll have it. I wouldn't say no. If you know where I am, you can find me. Yeah, Ray, then I'm, I can't, can't say I blame you. Well done. You've done well, man. That's a hit and run, that is. Get in there, smash it, and then off you go. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I'll chuck it in the pot, definitely. I'll chuck it in the pot. I believe there's been too much paranormal mentions tonight. I'm feeling it in the tea leaves. A big surprise fish is inbound. I believe. Yes, nice. People keep in the faith here, ladies and gentlemen. The bite has gone a bit slow, which is good. It usually means there's something predatory out there frightening them off. But we'll see how it goes. We got that lovely whiting out there, ladies and gentlemen. Last night, no, not the night before last, I put a pout out. It was absolutely annihilated. Annihilated, so around about high tide. Oh no, no it weren't, actually it was tied out towards the slow, yeah from the fast to the slow oh yeah different time believe in the believers and then i saw her face now i'm a believer not a trace of doubt in my mind and then i saw her face Ooh, i'm a believer i can leave her if i try don't diddle it but didn't diddle it bim. And then I saw her face, now I'm a believer, not a trace of doubt in my mind. And then I saw her face, ooh, I'm a believer, I can leave her if I try. And then I saw her face, waiting for the tippy tappy, ladies and gentlemen. It's really all about that right hand rod to keep the tippy tappy going until that left down one goes. There's loads of congas about. The only trouble is I just haven't, hang on, hang on, right hand rod, the distance on that left hand could have been a bit better for congas, but it's perfect for back. Here we go. Tippy tappy. Yeah, he's having a look. Looks like a little whitey. Oh, I don't know. It's getting better. Yeah, he might be on, I'm not sure. It's a whiting bite or a pout. No, I'm gonna leave it there. it there just for a minute see what happens shouldn't be too far from it I only moved it an inch or two but it might have just spooked him away but it is tippy tappy ladies and gentlemen tippy tappy and then I saw her face now I'm a believer 
There's not a trace of doubt in my mind. Then I saw her face. Ooh, I'm a believer. I could leave her if I tried. You watch a massive bite on that left hand rod at some point. Every whiting or pout bait I've used this year has gone. Something's had a go at it. Apart from when we put one in for half an hour the other day and then just went home. But the one we put in before that was it. Which is why we put the other one in. It was all or nothing. We just stayed an extra half hour and chucked another one in. It's yeah. But tonight, different story. Lovely fresh whiting out there. hoping to get some action on it. So we saw a tippy tappy on the right hand rod there. We've got some bait being dropped off. I'm half expecting a message from Jack to say where where on earth are you? There it goes again. Right hand rod goes again. Little tippy tappy on the right hand rod again. Hardly distinguishable, but a little rattle. It makes me believe there's a little whiting out there having a go at it or something. There it goes. Oh, that was a good knock there. That weren't a whiting, I don't think. That was an unusual fast hit there. That's like a little bass hit. And again. Right, I think he might be on. That was. Let's have a little look. That was almost like a bass bite. I, I don't know. We might have something there, like a small bass, maybe. I can't tell if there's anything there. Pout. Pout, ladies and gentlemen. One pout adds to the species. We're wrapping up the species. Get it back in there, ladies and gentlemen. Pout whiting and dogs. See if we can find a different species. I mean, we expect those little ones on the ragworm baits, but we could catch anything on them. There's a few anglers out. I can see fishermen all up there.
There's a few fishermen out, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely little pouts getting pulled out. Do you watch the never ending story? Yeah. Have you, what, the, the old one? I don't know if they've done a new one, have they? LC is in the house. How are you doing, all right? Leftover curry, nice, that'll do. Want to see a fish? <laughs> Who is here, whited? The never ending story. Ha ah, ha ah, 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 ah. They look like big, strong hands, don't they? No, Artex! Artex, no! No, Artex, no! Don't sink into the sadness, Artex! Artex! Don't sink into the sadness, no! Destroyed me, that did. That scene destroyed me. Hot sex, no. I mean, and when it went right down to its head, and he's trying, like, what? I mean, what else? They wouldn't get away with that nowadays, doing that to a horse. Not there's anything wrong with it. I guess the horse was fine, but when he was so hot sex, no. And then at the end, when he's screamed the name out, you see all text and a trio galloping through the desert. They're like, yay! You know, but yeah, the never ending story. Very good. Very good. Yeah, very, very good. Back in the day, got to go, mate. Oh, one man is African twin. Thank you so much, mate. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll see something half decent now. We're catching our regular species at the moment. But, you know, we've got to expect that when we put our baits in the sea. We're going to catch what lives there. We just want to catch something nice. Again and again and again, Roger. Yeah. It was a great film, wasn't it, eh? The never ending story. Falcor and that a luck dragon. Absolutely magic. I'm allergic to you. Achoo. The little house of horrors. No, I've seen the little shop of horrors. With Seymour. I watched that the other day. Oh, you've just reeled what you suspect to be a baby spider crab. Okay. Yeah, we'll be seeing those around and about. We, uh, didn't we have one of them the other day? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we caught one on the sieb actually. Sometimes in the harbour we can catch some ginormous spider crabs. Oh, that's the one, Elsie. Right, little shopper horrors, yeah. With Seymour. Feed me. Feed me now. Your local co-op. <laughs> oh, Hayley. Okay, Hayley, take care. Thank you so much. You watched the original one, Home Slice. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, great, those films back in the day. How they did it with those massive um, puppets they used and that, you know. Yeah, really good. Back in the era of the labyrinth and stuff like that, you know. Just quality films. Corner shop, everything out of date. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't seen much of a show from the old Perseoid meteor shower. I'm a little bit disappointed, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a little bit disappointed. I was expecting at least to see one shooting star. I mean, we might still see one. The chances of us catching it on camera if it is just one is horrendous.
written in the answer is the answer to a never-ending story. Ah, never-ending story. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, wicked film. When he has to go through the oracle things as well in the beach oh sorry on the sand and they big glowy blue things and they start breaking up and that the oracles can't remember too much of it but very good film takes us back to our youth ladies and gentlemen I mean, we've grown up in an amazing generation. When you think about it, the generation before us was watching black and white TV. You know, we were the next generation, you know. Just as black and white went to colour and we got to see all these fantastic colour movies. You know, like it weren't much before us. It was all black and white, you know. And now moving on, people will never know black and white. You know, we just we just came saw films still in black and white, and as the TVs went over to colour. You know, what an amazing time to be alive in the history of the planet when you think of it. Not like you're being born in the Woman era, <laughs> where you had nothing to do but join a Woman army. You had a black and white TV as a kid. Makes you feel old. That's it. Had three channels. Two more via clicker on the wall. That's it. Yeah, I mean, we we grew up in a very lucky time to see that transition and the rapid advance of technology. You know, we've grown up from the old portable mobile phone in a backpack to, you know, iPhones and that, you know, technology is advancing so fast and we're really lucky to have lived at a time when we've seen it you know technology is really rapidly advancing still creating new technologies you know and stuff, it's amazing what their science is up to. Absolutely incredible. Those two extra channels were provided by Telewest throughout the UK. It was the first incarnation of fibre broadband. Wow. Yeah, fibre optic cable and that. Yeah. Yeah, light can travel along it, you know, very fast. A written in the lifetime is the answer to a never ending story. Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo. Beautiful evening, right? Beautiful, chilled evening down by the water's edge, ladies and gentlemen. Waiting for one of these rods to tear off. Got that sleeper rod on the left hand side. Beautiful bait, that is. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. I'm quite sure something will hit that at some point. It's got to happen. Written in this lifetime is the answer to a never ending story. Oh, 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 oh. Never ending story.
Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo. Might change that right hand rod. We've got loads of worm, really. If I don't use it, I'll have to go in and chuck it in. Oh, well, we haven't got loads. We haven't got loads. We've got enough to use through the night if we put, keep baiting it up. But if we don't, we'll have some left. We don't really want any left. You work at a co-op, not franchised one. Glad I have great staff who take care of 99% of markdowns. Rarely miss anything. Nice. Yeah, it's good when you've got good staff, you know. Good staff on your on your team. I did some senior supervising. The problem with that is when you've got so many people under you, half, half of them in what I did, they didn't want to be there. They didn't want to work. They just wanted to earn the money. Well, make money, but not earn it. You know, and, and that was a nightmare. Because if people get that in their head where they just want to earn, make money and not really earn it, they're just going to work because they've got to. It's hard trying to get them to do the job when they're there or do it properly. You know, very rare do you find someone who goes to work, wants to be there and does a great job in certain areas of work. And God help you if you find yourself in an area of work. Where, oh, commission works are good because they've got the incentive to work and bonus work and that. But, yeah, no one wants to go to work and have to really work hard to earn it. And, yeah, it's hard when you're supervising people where you really need a good job done and they don't really want to do it. Yeah. It was difficult. I'm lucky at the moment, but staff turnover is still an issue. Yeah, that's it, Sean. Yeah, staff turnovers. That's a nightmare. Yeah, I've worked in a couple of companies actually as well where that is an issue, one particular, where they couldn't keep the staff. It, it all boiled. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That boiled down to the shift, the shift supervisor being too bossy and everyone was leaving. But the bosses didn't know why the turnover was so bad because people just left. They wouldn't tell them it was the shift supervisor. I was with a company like that, I just left. But you could see why everyone was leaving. Right, we've got a fish on. Fish on. It's a little puppy dog. I'm surprised we haven't seen any puppy smooth hounds. Right, let's get this one back in.
they stay there like little doggy donuts for ages. I'm going to try a bit of sprat with the worm now. We'll just see how it goes. I mean, I think we'll just pick up more dogs, but we'll have a go. I've just realised those anglers were Jack. So that was me. It was you, yeah. I just, I've just thought actually the skate park's there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I could see you um, when you were messing around with the crabs and the rock. Yeah. The tire screeching. No, yeah, yeah. So I thought, oh, I that's thought it. you were further round, and then I've just realised that just, was you. Yeah, just before light hit, I could see the the blue tent and stuff. And I yeah. Thought, oh, is that him? Wicked, yeah. mate. Thank you so in much. The, I'll chuck that in the yeah, in the bait tub. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. man. That's all. Right. I'm sure it'll help. Yeah. Yeah. Or not tonight. Then maybe another yeah, night. Yeah, exactly. Use it as a bait. It up, you? Yeah, yeah, get it back in there. Well done, mate. Oh, I was buzzing right. with that ray. Like, Turn it in, man. I couldn't leave it off, <laughs> mate. I, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Straight away, well. as soon as I put the straps in, it started really? going. Really? Yeah. Got that got two dogfish out and yeah. then I thought oh here we go yeah. another dogfish it was a nice bite yeah and I was like oh reeling it in and it felt like like it come off but yeah. I could see its eyes yeah, at the yeah. top of the water and wow. I was like yeah it's another yeah, way and it was flapping in no it. well done I'm it was pleased. only small I'll show you a picture That's, yeah let's have a look you'll have to stick it up on the group again if you yeah can. yeah we can yeah, yeah. Oh, Another beauty, small mate. One, beauty. Yeah, yeah razor ray, isn't it? It's just stunning, mate. Yeah, yeah I'm well stunning. happy with that. So. Yeah, I'm happy for you. It's good. Hopefully, you'll uh, see one up this way. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just sort of erring on the side of putting a bit of sprat on now, but I just there's so many dogs around at the moment. Yeah. But it is just fighting through the dogs to get to them. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, if, we, if I get through enough dog bites, we might see one. So that's sort of the plan at yeah. the moment. Yeah, mate, yeah, well, you yeah. enjoy anyway, and uh, I won't yeah, stick around. I'm going up the kebab. You're getting a kebab, are you? <laughs> yeah. Eh? yeah. Nice. Yeah, I am, yeah. All right, well, thank you for that lot, mate. That's quality. That's all right, mate. Yeah, you you take care of that. Thank you, my mate. That's Be safe. Right. Well done on that. Ray, mate, I love it. Thank you very much, Will. Beauty, mate. I'll yeah, see you later. Good luck. Cheers, mate.
quality guys, Jack, dropping in and dropping off some bait, ladies and gentlemen. Dropping in and dropping off some bait as we fish down here on the beach tonight. So the take batteries, the visit is spectacular. Definitely some sort of UFO in the background. Yeah, could be an unidentified flying object. Yep. Doesn't have to be proved as alien, I guess. Well, it can't, can't be proved as alien, but... Yeah, any object that can't be identified is, is, is an un unidentified flying object. I'm not sure what you can see or where it is. Otherwise, I might be able to identify it for you. And it will no longer be a, a UFO. Written in this lifetime is the answer to what never ended story. I've just realised why one of them batteries is dying out. Because I only replaced two of them, didn't I? I got two new ones and one was still alright at the time. So now I know why that battery is dodgy. So I'm just going to scratch on it that that's the dodgy one because it's the one on the lights. I don't know if I fly moth. Oh, fair enough. Evening, David and Johnson. Lovely. Well, it's not unidentified. <laughs> You've identified it in that it's a moth. <laughs> Have a look. Yeah, that's. That's the dodgy one, right. Written in this lifetime. Right, I'm putting an X through the top of that. That's the one that died on the sib when we were out the other night. So I need to replace that. Nice turbo caught by someone I know in Shoreham last night. Nice. Nice. Oh yeah, Ian, yeah, yeah, that it will do that. It's the same as when the sun was out earlier and there was a reflection of the sun. So yeah, the camera lens turns the image upside down. So you'll have an, an extra image. Uh, an exact space between me and the other light. It's re re reversed in the camera, but you can see it on there. So you're looking through a deep lens. Sheena Rosa is off. Adios. Sheena. Sheena, take care. And be safe. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. You legend. Thank you so much indeed for joining us here this evening. You are a superstar. Thank you. Absolute legend. Right, I'm just doing a transfer and then I'm going to order a new battery. We definitely need one for the start of the year. We can't be having dodgy batteries here at this um, stage because we are just coming into what's going to be a very busy period of local marks fishing or Danny C how do you do lovely to see you joining us here tonight we've had five dogfish one pout one whiting the whiting bait is on the left hand rod as we speak I know it's still on there. I saw it go out. It landed perfectly. There's been no bites on it so far. So I know it's still going to be there. You know, anything touches that thing and we'll know about it. We will know about it, ladies and gentlemen. We will know about it. So we're just waiting for that to occur here, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, there's one there. 
Let's have a look. Do, do, do. That one, that one. That's the one we want. Maintenance free, 1220 dimensions. Yeah, that's it. Do, do. Can I just buy it straight away without going for any hoo ha or malarkey? So, uh, you must agree with the terms and conditions. Oh no, bugger that. Let's have a look. Written in this lifetime is the answer to a never ending story. The tiny is wicked and whitey at the moment. Can't. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Did I miss a bite then? Sorry, I was just reading the writing. I think we had a tap. Something happened on the line. We're losing the battery on the light. The, the light is dying. The battery's dud. So that's been fully charged and it's dead. Yeah, it's going. Right, hang on. Just trying to log into here quick. Get this purchase made. Oh, no. Oh, I can't do it through that one. I have to do it another way, that one. Oh no, I can't do it, right. Right, let's... Shit, that rod, we just had a bike, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. No. Right, I thought we had a bite there. Let's have a look, hang on. What's G pay? I've never heard of that. Nine. Todd Project, say you're doing. Come on, fishy, fishy. Can't get through the whiting to get a cod. What about using a whiting as a bait for the cod? Would that work? Would that work? For in this lifetime is the answer to a never-ending story. Can't believe that light's dying. Last break, then last two hours of the day. Three day long, three day long stress, nice. There it goes again, there it goes again. Tippy tappy, tippy tappy, ladies and gentlemen on the right hand rod but we're losing the power of that light it's going to be dead soon that is really frustrating that battery shot that's a big problem for us you know that's a big problem there might be a power on it you know we can still see the rods but it's not going to be for long. Let's put this light on here a second. See if, see if that can offer any assistance. Ah, oh, yeah, a little bit. That sort of backs it up a bit. I'm going to check that right hand rod. There might be a power on there. Have a couple of head shakes. Let's have a little gander.
say, because it still looks well bright. When I look directly at it... See how that does. It's all right. Oh, well, can't hold a new battery without my card with me, and I ain't got that with me. Well, I've just given that a very good whack, that right hand rod, so it's right at distance. I'd expect there to be something out there. Let's see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. 23, 25 is the time. But we've got a dying battery. And that is a killer. We wait for something to happen. Be nice if the big bait went. Tippy Muck Tappy. Want a massive slamming bite on that left arm rod. Well, I mean, a massive slamming bar on either would be good. No sign of big smooth hounds at the moment. Not on our rods and not in any good number. We've not had any big hits. Waiting for something to nose around and pick up that bait. Written in this lifetime is the answer to a never ending story. Oh, 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 oh. Never ending story. Beautiful evening, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to those beautiful waves. Tapping in on the shoreline. Absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Go fishing, Abigail. Best of luck, Will. How you doing, GI? GJ, you all right? Back to work in three minutes. I'll check in two hours or so when I'm off work. And get home, see if you're still on. Thank you. Take, we might not be on. I don't think we'll be on then. But you never know. It's a bit quiet. We're not seeing any... Nothing's tapped that left down rod. Nothing's tapped that left down rod, and that's what we want. And we're very quiet. Well, we want to be out there on the sib, really, for these cold nights. You know, it's horrible looking out there and seeing how beautiful it is, and knowing that we can't get out there because it gets bitterly cold. Absolutely frustrating, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely frustrating. But it's okay.
written in this lifetime is the answer to one never-ending story. Oh, it's just beautiful listening to those waves. I'll catch you on the next time when I'm able to. Good luck. Have a great rest of the night, you and everyone in the chat. Thank you so much, Todd. Have a great evening, and we'll see you later. We'll stick it out for a bit. But those rods are quiet. Want that white in bait to go really. I mean, I could re rig it a different way and hammer it out further. That would probably be the best thing to do. Might just do that. You're welcome. You are most are welcome. No ghost stories? No. Todd's a good night, mate. You're legend. Yeah, I haven't got any ghost stories. Don't believe in them. It's not my thing. But feel free to tell any if you've got any. Like I say, I've got nothing against anyone else believing in ghosts. It's not my thing. But people are free to believe what they wish. It's, you know, it's all part of what makes people people and different people. Some people believe stuff that other people can't understand. You know, hang on. Right hand rod tippy tappy again there. Eh? I, mean, I can see why people would believe in ghosts and an afterlife because it's a way to manage their own passing. You know, otherwise, you know, what have they got? If they don't believe in ghosts and they just believe they, they die and that's it and they're gone and that and it's not very nice. And a good coping mechanism for someone is to believe in the afterlife. I've got nothing against that for people that believe in that, you know. Yeah, it's up to you, Clyde, if you want to tell it, mate. It's not to say it's not my thing. There are people that believe that, and they're free to believe it. It's not for me to say whether they can or can't. But that's just my view. My view, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting tippy tappy, though. Gonna have a look at this whiting. Check it's still on. Hang on. Hold up. Boosh. Oh no. Well, I don't know how he wasn't on. That's a good bite. Should find it shortly again.
Right, the whitey bait was good and I've got a lot more distance on it now. We're going to take off the sprat and go back with the whiting baits. Unless there's a fish on this. Sorry, back with the ragworm bait. Because we haven't landed a fish since we changed the ragworm. The sprat. Take me to church. Right, we're back on just worm bait now, guys. Right, we're back on worm baits now. Just oh, worms. We shall see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Jack E is back. You absolute legend. Fantastic. No ghost, man. Just real life. Make the most of it, GI. Yeah, we're feeding the fish bait worm, so we're still doing some good. Yes. Ain't scary though. Uh, it was at night, so we could see the lights in the windows. Jackie, ahoy there, ahoy there. You absolute legends. The light is dead. It's nearly dead. I'm going to have to put this one on. Try and give us a bit extra light. That battery is dead down there. That's not good. That means I haven't got another battery to rotate onto it. Like that's going to cause us big problems now. I mean, I've got I've got a little one. I mind you, yeah, that'll probably have to do. But I don't know. I need to order another battery. I need to find a way here. Take me to church. I worship like a dog. Yeah, the shell you like. The thing I says, well, have you put a, fat, a four blade propeller on fart box? No. No, not yet. No, because it's not essential. So I haven't done it. And it's a good thing I didn't. I haven't, I, I don't put, I purchase essential stuff first when we need it. And it's a good thing I didn't put the money into a four-blade prop 
because now I need to put the money into a battery that we've got down here. And uh, so you got, I've got to be careful when I spend because you never know when something expensive is going to go wrong. And it has tonight. So I won't be buying a four blade prop yet. Let's just have a look at this. Uh, Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Three credit. Oh, credit debit. Ah, oh, this is what I need to do. I have to go and get my card. Right. Right, I'll be back in a sec, guys. Bear with me. Yeah, it's an urgent issue we've got here with this light. You wouldn't think it. You wouldn't think it. But uh, for each six hours we do on battery, it takes about 12 hours to charge one. Or you could say at least eight hours. So if we use six hours, it takes at least eight hours to charge it. So if we, we've got a problem with that battery now which means I've only got two batteries left. I use two batteries a night, one on the light, one on the power pack. If we do another session tomorrow with six hours and it takes 12 hours or at least eight to charge that bat the two batteries we got, I won't be able to get them a full charge before we use them again. Then if we use them another night, we'll wear them down even more. And once you get wear these down below a certain voltage, you can't charge them again. So this little problem we've got here, starting with one battery issue, will be a big problem in two days if we need three new batteries. So I need to order this one battery now, quickly. Uh, rechargeable spotlight torch off Amazon. Uh, because if my phone dies, I can't charge it with a spotlight from Amazon. Uh, the rechargeable spotlight from Amazon is not weatherproof, proper weather, believe me, we've done everything poor, I'm not, I, this is the only system that works, trust me, it's the only, I can use them batteries everywhere, or I can't take a rechargeable torch out and use it as a underwater light on the SIB, I can't attach an underwater light to a rechargeable torch on the SIB. So if I did that, I'd have to do away with that battery and buy a torch, which means I've got an extra item to take, a battery which would need to go anyway, and then a torch. 
plus the underwater light we need as opposed to just having that battery and light that, that battery we've got there and then just taking that battery and the underwater light believe me mate it's beyond people's understanding of why i use the setup i use it's the reason this channel is so successful but please don't try and understand it just believe me the kit we've got with us is essential it's like people say why don't you just use little lights on your rod tips that attach to the to the tripod again if this battery inside here dies on the power pack i can't use those torches over there to charge it whereas if this battery down here gets an issue i can just swap the battery with the light and use it you know so those batteries are essential and i don't want to buy three or four rechargeable lights because that's what i'd need i'd need one for one night one for the next night and and would that battery last eight to 12 hours on a session this is another thing people say oh why don't you buy a rechargeable torch but does it last 12 hours on full spot on those lights and absolutely no <laughs> it doesn't so we have the 12 volt 20 amp hour batteries because they will do the time unfortunately that battery has died after a year of use but that's all right we've got a year out of it it's done us good i just need another one which is what i'm about to buy oh sharon course you legend well you need a tilly lamp tilly lamp's not gonna do me any good what's that gonna do a tilly lamp's gonna warm me up what do i want a tilly lamp for <laughs> a tilly lamp ain't gonna light them rods up you can't take a tilly lamp on the sib it'll kill us It'll sink us if it falls over. We're talking about a tilly lamp. Again, another reason that battery there is essential with the waterproof spotlight. Sharon, thank you so much. Two seconds, guys. I need to do this. I need this done quickly. Oh, they've already got my details there. Oh, no, that's a different one. I mean, I do need a tilly lamp, but I can't carry it around. It'd get broken. Oh, hang on. That's not the right. Oh, hang on. I was looking at the wrong one. Oh, that is the one. Right, hang on. Right, there we go. Thank you, Sharon, you legend. Yeah, I can see the bike, but I need to get this sorted. This is more important for the reasons I have just explained. Uh, charge the rest to there. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's good. What's this? Charge the rest to. Yeah, bang, there you go. Yeah, this is more important, guys. Trust me. This will go from what I've, I, I'm paying now to paying two thirds more if we lose both the other batteries. So this is essential. I need to do this now or there is no more catching fish. One more step. Oh, hang on. I can't see the bite though. It's probably a pout or something. Just bear with us. that left rod went we did hit I come back from a shower to him no more catching fish <laughs> no it's all right Phil no no it's all right hang on right that's the one boom complete that right well, it's nearly done guys bear with me sorry it's a bit of a process would you appreciate if you could take that, share your opinion now? I'm going to take a moment to answer, I'm not interested in all that. Order number, let's save that. Right, hang on guys.
ordered the batteries, 48, 49, there you go, yeah, there you go, just make sure, there you go, yeah, that's it, right, it's done, guys, thank you, dreaded anglers there, you legend, right, it's done, right, guys, we just had a PayPal come in there, guys, sorry, uh, Sharon Cause did a hyperchat, Sharon Cause, thank you so much indeed, da, 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 da. Sharon, thank you so much indeed, you absolute legend. Thank you for that, what you've done. Lots of tippy tappy, lots of fun to come. Now that we've ordered a new light, thank you guys. What's my opinion on three piece rods? It's all I use. They're, they're continental rods, three piece, the two piece of beach casters. So three piece continental, two piece beach casters. I mean, for the most part. But yeah, I only use continental three piece rods quite simply because they fit in the motor nice and easy sideways. So when I had the old car, it was easy. I could put the three piece rods in the boot sideways. That was all it was. And the two piece were just too long. The two pieces together for an eight foot rod, you know, well, for a, what, 13 foot rod. You know, in two pieces of that, proper long, you know. So, uh, six, six and a half foot each. It's a, and that's a nightmare. Right, let's check that right-hand rod, ladies and gentlemen. You were quite right, tippy-tappy, but we had no urgent. I think, take it up. Right, that looks like a pal fight, guys. I think we've got a pal. Let's, have, let's see if we can pull him out. Oh. Right, wait, wait up. Guys, hang on. Is that what's going on there? Might be a big old dogfish. That was a little bite for a dogfish though. Gotta be a big dog. He just wrapped around something where I left it for a little while. Not opening his gob. Wow, he's strong bite. Ow. Yeah, <laughs> wicked. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. <laughs> we done it, guys. There's loads of them about at the minute. We came, we saw, we conquered. We've got a ray. Oh, I'm so pleased, I can't even tell you. I know he's only tiny, but look at it. Look at it. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Tiny little ray. He uses these as little legs, they do. Oh, he's absolutely beautiful. Look at him. That's how they hold him, isn't it? <laughs> there he is. Let's get him back in. He's a monster. True beast of a ray. 
I knew it. I, I sort of half had it in my mind when I struck that rod that we we hit jackpot there. It just felt. I weren't sure. I was like, hang on, this could be it, and it was. Right, let's just get a video of him being released. I'm going to film him going in, guys, for a short. Oh, guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, go on. Oh, I can't tell you how pleased I am. Oh, guys. So the state of it is, at the moment, is that you can go down to the Solent and target a ray, and it's likely you're going to get one. Jack, uh, when you said felt like a big dog, well, yeah. I knew it was a ray. Well done. Thank you, guys. And it's that same thing. Yeah, well, when I struck the rod initially, it, it was stuck to the floor. For the first two pulls, it was stuck to the floor. And there's only one fish I know that does that. But then it came loose. So initially, I struck the rod and I thought, this is a ray. Then it came loose and I weren't sure. I thought, hmm, maybe a big dog. I, I just wanted to keep my mouth shut till we got it in and then saw him coming in. Beautiful. He stuck down well for a little ray. Let's get the rod back in anyway. It could be another one to have. Come on, let's get that rod back in. <laughs> Changing the bait back to ragworm. Done the job. What a great time of year. Smooth hound potential, rays everywhere. Absolutely outstanding. The Solent's all right when it's like this. It can be hard going through the winter, but this time of year, things start picking up. It's a worthy place to be. Let's get this back in. Might be able to find another. Ah, oh, brilliant. Just make sure he's gone back. Sweet. Oh. Wow. Oh. 
Wicked. Oh man. Yeah, brilliant. Can't wait to see that. Did anyone get a screenshot? <laughs> Did anyone send me the screenshot? That was absolutely beautiful. Ray Mundo. Martin Bull, thank you so much. Target achieved, ladies and gentlemen. You absolute legends. Sharon Cause, please do pick a super chat, well, hyper chat subject of your choice, should you so wish to do so. Roger Wilcock donated $4 via Visa. Ooh, do you mean via um, PayPal? Thank you. You lit buffering in Virginia is coming up. Right, two seconds. I was just going to look for a, a solar weather temperature. Uh, it's four degrees wind chill. So seven degrees with four degrees feels like temperature. Roger Wilcox, a buffering in Virginia, is it, sir? Buffering in Virginia, is it? We caught Ray. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God, I'm ridiculously excited. It's crazy. I know it's just a little ray, baby Ray. But it's exciting, not just for me, but for other anglers that want to come down and target the ray. We've been so lucky in, on some of these sessions where we've seriously come down and committed to the rays. We did it a little while back and we had one a long time ago. You know, and we've sort of, we've, had, we've done all right actually. We've had an undulate not so long back. We've had little fawny now. They're catching the fawnies to double now. Just how long we've been waiting for one of them beauties. Well, Lynette, I know that's been a long time. I mean, especially in the Solent. But as I say, I'm excited for, my, for for everyone else as well. Because we've come um, to target rays and we've had one. Because oh, we had a bit of ragworm, see? So I thought we'll target the flatties. And it's worked. Proving that you can buy a little bit of worm. Pop down. Chuck it in. That was on a flounder rig as well. And the rays are small out there. Some There's a lot of small ones. So flounder rig's perfect. A little place rig it is. Wow, thank you, guys. Uh, absolutely outstanding. Thank you. Amazing contributions again. Roger, you are a legend. Thank you, Clyde. The rays are right. Thank you, guys. We're down on the beach tonight We're feeling all right Hang on, hang on. Oh, the whiting! The whiting! Right, this is the big time, if this goes. Something's just hit the whiting. This is, this is important, guys. Hold up. This is a crazy development now. Wait for it, because it could just tear off now. This could be it, wait for it. Just give it a minute. If a bass has sniffed it and he comes back, that could tear off. Just, I just, <laughs> calm, ladies and gentlemen. Just two seconds. Something just nudged it around. That's conga, that is. Bass is a big hit. Conga, nudge it around. Oh, that's exciting. just at the right time as well, over the top of the tide. Sorry guys, I had to be on standby for that one. Something's just hit that left hand rod. He could come back to finish it off. Oh, nearly threw the guitar at you then. That was lucky. Oh, guys. Well, I will. Nice ray of a good night, guys. Sting a stingray song. Sing a stingray song. Screenshot sent. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. 
GI, sorry, GI. It's the people that do the the, the PayPal's and the super chats that I do the songs. We've a, a, a GI. Is, are you the lady that sent the? Are you Sharon under a different account? Because I can see you calling for a Ray song. Sorry if I've missed that. But keep an eye on that left hand rod. Something's just had a taster of it, guys. It could come back in and smash it again. Ladies and gentlemen, let's try that again. Bear with us. <clears throat> Here we go. We're down on the beach tonight. We're feeling all right. We got a tippy tabby on the right. And now it'll be all right. All right for us, but they're causing a fuss when it's bad for an infantry. Bad for an infantry. I don't know why it's buffering so bad there tonight. But for us in the UK, it's all right when it's bad for an infantry. Bad for an infantry. We got a little party show on the go here tonight, but they're causing a fright when it's buffering in Virginia. Go on, buffering in Virginia, loud as you can. It's buffering in Virginia. It's buffering in Virginia. Yeah, 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 yeah. One more time we're going round the game Cause it's buffering in Virginia Buffering in Virginia It's buffering in Virginia It's buffering in Virginia Yeah, 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 yeah I see a client that's going on tonight It's going on but it's alright I'll check it on the right. I can see we're getting a bite on the right, but it's buffering tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you absolute legends. Bravo! Bravo! Oh, I can't believe it. Get four hours in and we've caught the target species. Brasso! Brasso, <laughs> that's Drew's doing that, it's Drew started that, <laughs> Dan the song was buffering, no it wasn't was it, it didn't buffer did it while I was doing the tune, please tell me it wasn't, I'm going to check that right hand Rob, we might have a pout, we might have a whiting, the whiting's just been hit you know, it's just been hit, the whiting's been hit, it might have been taken you know, it was buffering did it really? Oh, well, that's well apt for the song, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. No, it wasn't, Steve. Oh, OK. It was, was for some, not for others. Pam Bailey, the legend, is there. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. I'm just going to lift into that left hand rod because the... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Change the bait on the right, then I'll get that other one in. We're, we're almost out of worms, so we're going to be on fish baits here soon. Can't feel any... Oh, maybe a pout here. Yeah, there's something shaking its head. How or whitey? It's about. 
We've got another pout, ladies and gentlemen. This is exciting. So if that whiting's gone, I'm putting one of these on. Oh. A slippery but colourful pout, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just, I need to check the, get this bait back in, check the right hand one. I think that whiting might have gone. If it was a conga spinning off of it, then we we need to rebait. We had some good bites on the outgoing tide the other day. Oh, I'm well excited now. That's reinvigorated me. That has, <laughs> it's all about getting them raised now. That worm in there. I know the worm's been eaten. I think we might bring in a whiting that's been bitten in half. Bites picking up, guys. Whiting's still there. Oh, flap of it. Right, we flappered the white in. There's a figure stood on top of the hill watching. And if that figure's watching on their phone, we are downwind of you as well. I think you know what that means. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are chilling out. Ragwork was always. The best 400 likes, guys. What? Oh, man. 
guys wow 400 likes guys absolutely outstanding thank you what an evening eh and it mad isn't it it goes really quiet and then all of a sudden boom and you get your target species oh you know never an easy task the ray but but well, I say that we might get one. If, I mean, Jack had one yesterday. He had one today. We've come down to Taiwan. We've had one. There's rays of plenty. There's rays of plenty, ladies and gentlemen. We might head down here and get loads of them all the time. I mean, it's crazy, isn't it? Very exciting. Very exciting, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Thank you so much indeed, guys. 400 likes. Hannah Ray. Oh, now I can do your Ray song for the 400 likes. There you go. We've had a Ray. And it's taken our baits away. And we made 400 likes. And what can I say, guys? It's amazing. Tonight's been blazing. On the rods. A massive thank you to everyone watching. A big thank you to the fishing gods tonight. For a line in the stars and making everything right. We wanted a ray and then our line pulled tight. Ain't that just right? And we made 400 likes tonight. Ah! Oh, right. Oh, okay, hang on then. Thank you. So much, guys. 400 likes tonight. <laughs> GGJ. Voodoo Chow. I'm a voodoo chow. <laughs> Do it quick enough, my hands are a bit cold. I'm a voodoo child, God knows I'm a voodoo child. Oh, it's exciting, ladies and gentlemen. GJ, thank you, you absolute legend. Oh, you've done a two dollars super chat. What we do for the two dollars, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but you get the panic button for two dollars, you get the panic button and a um. Veronica, but we ain't got Veronica tonight, so I'm so sorry. So you just get a panic button, right? Hang on. Panic button. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, GJ, though. All the same. Holy moly. Oh, hang on, hang on. I've got to turn the light out for panic button. And that shows us just how bad the other light's got. Not too bad. It's all right. Don't panic. Don't panic. No panic. Thank you, GJ, you legend. <laughs> there you go JJ thank you so much indeed ladies and gentlemen we've had a ray which means there's probably quite a good chance of another one as well it's probably a good chance of another one Needs practice. Ladies and gentlemen, needs practice. 
Oh, hang on, hang on. The whiting, the whiting, the whiting. The whiting had a tappy there. Hang on. Oh, mate, I was ready to go. I was ready to go. Oh, I get a little bit too excited, I do. I've just flappered that whiting, so other fish will have a go at it. But that doesn't mean something ginormous won't take it. We've had, I say I flappered it, it's got the head and two, a flapper either side. With the gut still in there. So other stuff will peck at it. Well, let me know if you need a different screenshot. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, let's have a look. Oh, no, I just wanted to have a little look at him and see. Sorry, Phil. Yeah, I'll have a look. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Hang on. Let's have a little uh, gander. Oh, <laughs> now it's perfect. Yeah, there he is, man. Hey. Oh, well, chub. Oh, it looks like he's got a little face on him like there. That's a little alien face. On the back of it, I can hear people coming this way. There was a dude stood up on the hill watching us for a bit. Oh, hang on, no, he might just be up on the hill. On a phone or something. I remember we were down here once before and a guy came down to visit. He was in the Navy. He made me a, well, he said he was in the Navy before, but he made us a pot of really nice food he actually gave me gloves as well he gave me gloves oh and a beer actually he came down he dropped off a beer and it was the only beer that i'd drunk in years because i know he he had a few beers with him and i thought this isn't a bloke that will just give up a beer you know randomly he obviously enjoyed a beer but he gave me a beer he come down he's like yeah i have a beer we was live i don't think i drank the beer while we were live but I took it home, and if I remember right, I mean, I can't remember drinking the beer, so I probably drank it. <laughs> I can't remember that beer, you know. I just remember him giving it to us. And then he went home, and he made this little sort of nice little curry thing, which I ate, and I'm still alive. It never killed me, so it wasn't poisoned or nothing. And then he came down, he gave me some gloves. I've still got those gloves in my bag. Or well, I think there's one of them in there. But he did what that dude is doing up on the hill now. He was up there chatting on his phone for hours. And then he just came over. Yeah, there's one of them. I don't think I've got them both. And he, he spent a good half hour telling me that I was in the wrong place and I wouldn't catch any bass. <laughs> and we'd had a bass a day, literally, on the mark on here right where we are now but that was last year using the white in actually funnily enough i was chucking white in that and we were smashing a bass oh you're moving soon so i can't contribute but we'll do when i get sorted man you're all right gj that's all right man there's no obligation for people to do what they do you just do it you know and it's amazing it really is thank you you know it's always appreciated so thank you you know i mean it, it get it means we can do this so they're always, you know, really welcome. But just makes it a little bit easier. But thank you. But no, don't worry, man. I know. I know it's hard. There was a woman that used that. Well, she still comes on. Her house burnt down. Her entire house burnt down, and she was still contributing to it because the channel made her, you know, took her mind off what was going on. But she'd lost her entire house. It burnt to the ground. You know, and it, it's just amazing. It's, uh, you know, that for me really stood out. Oh, LC, you legend. Hey, turn it in, LC. Come on, man. LC, it's panic button time. LC, I'll have to turn this light out while I do the panic button so you get its full effect. The full effect. LC, you superstar. We've lost Veronica. I've had to order Veronica, which is an essential and a battery so thank you so much guys thank you oh hang on it's still on huh oh there it is ladies and gentlemen <laughs> 
LC gets the panic button. LC, thank you so much, mate. You are a legend. Thank you so much. We are limited in our musical madness because I lost Veronica. I don't even know where it went. It was a mystery. Hang on. Did I have my jacket on when I lost Veronica? Did I take it off? No, I had it on. I had my life jacket on. Check the pockets, yeah, no, yeah, I don't know where it went, totally lost it, totally lost it. Oh, oh I'm so chuffed, we've had a ray. Yeah, on Dave's boat, Steve, we were both miffed by it. I I don't know what happened, I had it in my hand and I must have, I don't know if I just dropped it packing up. I mean, I, I said to Dave, he'll probably find it on his boat somewhere at some point. I'm sure he will. It's there somewhere. Or it's somewhere on me somewhere. But, I mean, I've checked everywhere it could possibly be. Yeah, it's, it's not in any of the pockets here. And, uh, didn't throw it into here. Yeah, it's gone. Absolutely gone. Total mystery. Oh, come on and try and mystify me. Scooby dooby dooby try and mystify me. All oh, right, and Rod Tippy Tappy, ladies and gentlemen. And again, that looks like another pout bite. Hang on, he's still going. Still going. I just saw a shooting star. Shooting star just went straight through the sky there. Well, I felt a little head shake there. Yeah, there's something here, maybe another pout. Yeah, definitely something coming in. These pout are great bait now the bass are coming. Another bait fish, ladies and gentlemen, a pout. These are deadly. Now them bass are on their way. Oh, hang on, hang on. As I say, now I've flappered that whiting, that's probably just other pout and whiting having a go, maybe. Unless it hammers over, we won't know.
bites picking up over the top of the tide. Just clearing a couple of bags out, so I've got something to put the whiting in when we, uh, the pout when we go. The bite seems to be picking up a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. I just need to use the, I need to wet the lettuce. At least it didn't bite you. <laughs> Turn it in now. <laughs> the next fish might, if that pout goes, the whiting. Oh, it is amazing that we're seeing so many pout bites here, though. That's what's really good. Oh, Roy. Ah, oh, really? Ah, oh, oh, Roy Wesley, mate. Amazing. Hang on, let me see if I can get heart on there for you. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. Two seconds, Roy. Oh. It's not going to let me. Will it let me like it? No. Ah. There we go. Roy Wesley, you legend. Roy, thank you. Peter Stockton, how are you doing all right? Roy Wesley, the ledger. What time is it now? We've been live for four hours 47. It's half past 12. It's reasonably early still. We could probably go a little bit longer, like till 4 a.m. Roy, mate, amazing. Thank you. Absolutely incredible, Roy. Thank you, man. Outstanding, guys. Thank you. Amazing support, guys. Left down, Roger had a tap again. Tiny little one. It's exciting, isn't it, now? The bite has turned on the top of the tide. Holy, thank you so much indeed. I know, I'm ridiculously excited. I mean, it's really perked me up. I was sitting there thinking this ain't going too well. But again, guys, we had, what? Oh, well, I say we, have, we didn't. We had five or six fish before then. But it was sort of... We were having a quiet session, really, weren't we? It was just dogs, dogs, pout, white, you know, your average stuff. And then Blamo, and the Ray, the Target's Beauty. Intermission music, please, maybe a lettuce song. <laughs> the Rays are there to be had, yeah. Loads of little ones, it's amazing. There are big ones out there too, there are big ones. 
that, that left hand rod we've got out there is geared to big ones. We'll be able to easily land one on that. But if a big one picked up that two at rig, we'd never get it off the ground. We'd never get it off the ground. Potentially, I mean, they're quite strong, but yeah, I'm oh, just pleased we landed a little one. It's great. It'll be a shock to everyone that had to go to bed before we caught it, you know. They'll see that thumbnail tomorrow and be like, hang on, he done it. <laughs> what was that all about? But yeah, I think it's it's more than luck at the moment. You know, if you get down there and you've got the right bait and you get it out there, there's a good chance to one. Hang on, that left down rod. No, I don't think you have to sort of chuck and wish for a bit of luck. I mean, they're there. They're there. It's likely you're going to catch one. And as I say, they're all the way through the Solent. So I'm hearing of them coming right up from the far furthest left and right through to the farthest right. Uh, do you cast against the tide or cast away with the tide? I usually have one doing each left, uh, whichever direction the tide's going in at the time. So one will be in and one will be out of the tide, Paul. Five you've seen in two nights, Jack. Yeah, they're out there, mate, aren't they? There's, there's loads of them. I'm hearing stories of them being all over the place as well. It's fantastic. Yes, I, the, yeah, the tide's always going from left to right. Yeah, and I always chuck one rod to the left and one to the right. So we've always got one going in and one coming out at any stage. And then when the tide goes the other way, it's the same thing. It's just going the other way. So the sea's pushing the line down on one and pushing it up on the other. And that can affect the end of the rod significantly in a fast tide or in a slight to moderate sea because you've got the waves coming down on one rod but rising on the other you know going out it down onto one and rising from the other so it causes a inconsistency in the motion of the top of the rods so i'm very much aware of that when i'm watching and we've got folks saying the rod's going the rod's going and it's like, well, no, it's the tide. The tide's pushing the rod up or a wave is crashing down on the tide because it's consistent. We had that when we were fishing where we caught the conger eels because it's big tides. You're where we caught the 21 pound and the undulate ray because it's always a big sea there. So the rods are always doing something and you've just got to get used to what they're doing and, and look for the different motion which is often a fish yeah you can get lugworm gi you can dig them right in front of me yeah, there's lugworm everywhere when this tide goes out on this mark i'm fishing you can pump or dig lugworm all over the place i don't do it myself yeah it'd be great if you did it i just ain't got time to do it you know i ain't got the time it's time consuming, you know, walking around pumping lug and that. I find it easier to pick razor clams. You've never used lugworm, Jack. Yeah, good for cod. When the cod are in, lugworm's a great bait. Whack a lug to a bit of squid and cod love it. Just tune into your rod, Steve. Exactly that. Like tonight, there's no tide. It's small, but coming back up on springs... Well, there's no wind, there's no tide. The tide is smooth. The tide is smooth, it is beautiful. So there's no, there's nothing affecting the rods. So pretty much everything we see is a bite. Any motion is a bite. It's beautiful when it's like this. It's a little nippy. <laughs> Could be a bit warmer for us. Uh, the cod run, we get a spring run, David, so they'll be coming through in about a month. And then, like, for about a month, and then they disappear. And then we get another run starts in September. And then they run through September, October, November hard. And then they start sort of thinning out. 
So yeah, we get about four months of them in the Solent, three months in one stretch, and then sort of a month of the spring run. Same for the squid. I believe they follow the squid in. I don't, I don't think it's a coincidence. I think they follow them in. So when we start catching the spring squid, or when you start seeing the spring squid around in your lights, you'll often, it's worth dropping bait in for cod. Because they, they, they follow the same migratory patterns, I'm sure they do. So yeah, the spring squid come in and lay their eggs, really big ones. And then you get the really big cod come in and then they disappear. And then in the winter you get the little squid turn up and then the cod with them. It's the same as mackerel and uh, sea trout. So whenever I see mackerel shoaling offshore, I know there's sea trout in the rivers. Because they sort of follow the same migratory pattern, it's weird. Well, oh, man, his first fish out in August last year. What, cod? That's that's nice and early. Usually they're in September. Same as you here. There is a few about still. Yes. Yeah, we got a spring run. And uh, mainly up Chisel, they sort of see them running through. Oh, yeah, his first cod in August. Nice. Yeah, they're definitely in in September, in numbers. That's when they really start to show. Always done well on squid. Yeah, squid's a great bait. I used to do really well on squid for cod when I was out on a kayak. It was, e it was easy fishing for them, really. Chuck on like three squid up the line and drop it in. And you'd always find them. You'd have nights where it was dogfish and seaweed. But when the cod were there, you'd always find one. I had a good year for him last year, actually. I had two. <laughs> I had two from the beach. Two or three, actually. I can't remember. I know I had one here where I'm fishing this mark right here. I was with Rids. And then we were like, oh, let's go. If they're here, they'll be up this other spot. We'll go and target them there. So we went and targeted them another spot. I had one there. Oh, and then I had one on Dave's boat the Solent, with the Solent Warrior. And then that was it. So three last year. But I didn't really sort of target them. Well, we couldn't. The wind was just too bad. You keep the peeler for the winter. The cod love it. Yeah, same as spider crab. Yeah. Yeah, squids are wicked all round bait. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, £27, Sean. That's my biggest cod. Yeah, I had a £27 cod. An absolute beast. It was ginormous. Everyone from the estate was coming around to look at it. Honestly, you'd think I'd have caught, like, literally gold. I know they call them a bar of gold, but they, uh, yeah, literally, everyone was coming around to look at this massive fish. Only because my girlfriend at the time was telling everyone, all her mates, look what he's caught, look at this thing. And I had people coming around, let's have a look at your fish. Yes, let's have a look at your fishing. And I brought it out, I was bringing it out. People were like, whoa, we didn't know fish were that big. You know, but 27's a good cod, but there's 50 pound fish out there, you know. That was on a kayak, David, kayak. Yeah, that was on a kayak, that was. Lots of chips, yeah, it was great. Oh, it was great, his head was massive. Absolutely massive. I mean, it was bigger than mine. I mean, just by far bigger than mine. The, the head on it was absolutely ginormous. And the mouth of it was just ridiculous. It was huge. Yeah, it was crazy. About four foot long it was. It's absolutely huge. Absolute beast of a fish. It pulled my back when I caught it because it came up just like a lump of 
well, I thought it was, well, like a spider crab would come up, just wait, or a ray. And then it done what the conga do, you know, you get it to the surface and it sees you and then it just lunged. And on the kayak, it weren't good. You know, you could tip, yeah, but yeah, he lunged down and pulled my back out. 13 from the pier, that's good. It's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish, that is. Yeah, quality. Quality. And they are nice, fresh as well. Absolutely beautiful. I think I got six steaks off of that big old one I caught. It was nice. A 20. Nice, GJ. Yeah, it's a lot of fish, man. Good, heavy fish. Absolutely beautiful. It equals my conga PB actually from the Solent. But I accidentally lost that video of it. Well, all those videos, I, I deleted them. I clicked the wrong button, deleted all my videos. I was gutted. So now the official PB conga is £23. But I did have a much bigger one that I lost. Lost the footage for. I think I've got a short of it still on the channel. The actual official weight and all that was on the live where we weighed it before it was released. I caught that just up to the left from where we are now, but out about 100 yards on the sib. I can't wait to get back out there. There's big old beastie fish out there. Big bass, big congas, big rays. It's just got another week or so before the weather settles for us to do it. We've had a nice little teaser with two nights out on the sib in the last couple of weeks. It's frustrating. Because, you know, now I just want to be out there. Like I say, the chances of us catching those big 20-plus congas from the beach are quite slim. But on the sib, that's, we're getting into those often. You know, we 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 can achieve our PBs. We've just got to get out. And now I've got a scales, scales and sling. Hang on, right hand rod, right hand rod. We've got scales and sling now on the boat. We can weigh our fish. I never thought we'd get a PB when we was out the other day, but I think that fish beat my current PB of 23 pound. That was a big conga we had the other day. Devastating. I could just imagine the, the weight on them scales just going up, up, up as we lift it up. Right, there's something looking at the right hand rod, guys. Little rattles. Probably can't work them out on the screen because of the way the rods are biting away from us. But we've just getting a couple of little nibbles. Oh, left hand rod. Oh. Oh, I thought the white in edge was going to go then. Oh, ah. should have let it develop. Oh, God. I 
I've just checked this, mate. I don't think there's anything on this. Worm bait's all still on it though. I'm going to put it back out. We don't want to waste it. Just going to check that head now, see if it's still there, that might have took it off. Still feels like it's there. Ripped half of it off, took half of the flapper. We'll leave it out there. The congas will eat every single bit of a pout or a whiting, so we'll just leave it out there. It will go eventually. Something will take it. It's still a good, healthy bait. The eyes are in it, so there's no crab out there. It's not the crab that are hitting, that's hitting that bait or other little fish. Otherwise, the eyes would have gone. Half of the flapper was gone on it, so it's another big fish that's hit it. And that's a lovely little pool we just had. I've reset the hooks a different way. Seven pound tench, nice. It's all right, that's a good fish. Seven pound tench will do nicely. Absolutely outstanding. Yeah, lovely fish, that's the old tench. Swig of water, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice chilled water. That's the good thing about this sort of night, you know, the water stays chilled, the bait stays chilled. And it's good when we have a bait drop off. Especially if you come with a little bit too much bait and it's warm and you've, you know, the bait starts to spoil and you think, oh no. And then someone comes there, drops you off a bit more bait. You think, no, it's going to spoil. No, loads of wasted bait. But not tonight. Fresh bait, as long as it can make it back to the freezer, we're okay. And we've got a couple of pounds to go back with us. A 55 pounder. Wow. That's a nice fish. That's a beauty, that is. Absolutely stunning. 
55 pound of fish. Outstanding. White tina, a fiddy, tippy, tappy. Right, I've just got to check my bank quickly. Um, just make sure that payment went out and that I did knit the button twice. Oh, turn it in. Turn it in. It was definitely a fish. One score 55 pounder. Yes. Yeah, that's a very good fish. We've got the moonlight coming along on the water now over there. It's not quite with us yet, but it's actually quite a way away. I didn't realise I'd have to move that camera so far. Oh, oh no, that's Asda. Well, that's, oh, it's Sunday, isn't it? Well, no, no, we're Monday now, aren't we? Oh, it might still be cast as sort of Sunday night, I guess. Oh, black belly, white lamb, whoa, black belly, white lamb. I'm lying, I caught a mackerel. <laughs> oh, oh, that's all right, you know. We can dream big one day. Who knows? You might catch a 50 plus. That's possible. I mean, all the time your baits are in the water. Yeah. Yeah. You never know what's going to hit your bait. When you've got it out there, we've had some lovely surprises from the beach. Yeah, we could see one here tonight. You know, all the time those baits are in the water, even when it's quiet like this. You was just trying to fit in. <laughs> you do fit in, it's all right. You fit in. A mackerel will do. You fit right in with a mackerel catch, <laughs> that I do. Especially as we got this old mackerel run coming up. There were loads of birds sitting in the water when I got here today, but it was it's bass. So I'm surprised we haven't seen a little bass on the ragworm. There's so many bass out there. But you know, we should be picking them up on worm bait, but we're not. Sometimes the year they're a nightmare. But we've we've done well at the moment, you know. Our baits have stayed in the water long enough for some half decent species to find a right hand rod just had a knock. Is he gonna come back and pick it up? Something just slow tap that. Only a tiny little tap, but is it gonna go? Is that phone light on? Yeah. Some rods are looking a bit dim. Oh, a bit better. Well, below. Oh, a bit better. Well, below. I want my rod to go bam. Well, below. And a fish tear off like a lamb. Whoa, a bit better. Oh, well, below. Oh, a bit better. Well, below. Wearing a tadpole. <laughs> you need digis for that. Get it on the digis. Instead of a wham wham, bam 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 and smash it. I've set the hooks in quite a bit better on that head now. They were through the mouth and just chucked out. But now they're down the side. So there'll be a better chance. 
if something smashes it. Beautiful, just listening to the lapping of the waves on the shore. Just really light, lappy tappy on the gravel. Right hand rod again. Right hand rod, add another little look there. Ever so slight. Want it to come back round and have another go. Ever so slight tippy tappy. Listen to the sound of the waves, ladies and gentlemen. Gently rocking you to sleep. Feel the breath entering your lungs as your eyes feel heavy and you are relaxing at one with nature. The gentle lapping of the ocean sending you into a peaceful oblivion. That's all right, Roger. Well, hopefully this helps to give you a, a little bit of a sort of by the sea experience. Got to say, well, thanks for doing all this, mate, so we can watch you fishing. You're welcome, G. It's a pleasure, man. Like I say, I'd only be set up through the night anyway. You know, so, I mean, this is what I've done for years, but I've only been filming it sort of recently. I've always done this. It's just that when we went through lockdown, I just started doing it a bit more often. But this is, I've always done it. It's just great to be able to film it and have someone to chat to through the night, you know, when it's, especially when the rods get a bit slow and that. The bite just seemed to have dropped off a little bit now. But some nights we've had, like, well, when we've blanked, you know, we've sat out for six to eight hours and we've blanked. Those are the nights when I'm grateful for the folk that are on the channel. When we can sit and chat the night away, you know, and it's just, the night's not as long. It just doesn't seem to be as long. When there's no one there and you're sat there waiting on a bite and it's a blank, it's a long night, <laughs> you know. It's great being by the water and that. But, you know, when we're live, we're learning stuff. You know, I'm learning from you. There are new people on the channel that are learning from watching this. And, uh, yeah, it's great, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I know, so have I, but not got the, <laughs> the uh, bus. Hang on. Left hand rod. White in head. White in head. Something's looking at it. Is it going to go? He's having a little nose. Don't know. Is he going to come back and have another go? Yeah, it's, it's, it's grief filming it. It is grief. Not, I mean, not at the moment. You go through a lot of grief when you first start out because you don't know the ins and outs of the channel, You're of your channel. You start a channel and you go out. And then things happen and you either think to yourself, I'm going to look into how to prevent that or I'm just not. And then things get heavy and difficult and tricky and you've got to find ways. You can make the channel, you know, run smooth. But 
it comes with with its ups and its downs but it's worth doing in ultimately you know I mean I say that you know unless your house gets burnt down or your car's petrol bombed or something you know it's it's worth doing when there's no massive you know detrimental costs like that but, um, you know, it's just nice to do it and nice for people to enjoy it. But it does come with its risks and that it causes insane jealousy amongst some people. And they make it their, their business to make life hard for you where they can possibly. So you've got to be careful, but you've also got to not be naive and just be prepared for it and know that that is just going to be what it is. And it's all part of the territory. Because that's the biggest thing that puts people off. And you know, you're never going to live your dream if you listen to what other people say in a negative way about you. Because people will do it, even your friends, you'll be surprised. Or people you thought were your friends, that you have to let go, you know. Once you start getting really popular you know it causes a little bit of envy and that but you know you meet the people that want to be around you you know and keep them around you and just keep growing keep going and keep growing I can't imagine why anyone would want to bug you they do it for nothing Clyde some people just do it for nothing literally because they've, they've got nothing they're bored they've got nothing in their lives So that's why you've got to expect it and sort of not view it as as a negative thing, really. They just don't know how to act, those sort of people. You know, they're still in your life and they're still influenced by what you do. They just react in a different way to the people that enjoy it and are friendly about it. You know, so it's all just part of, you're still influencing their life. Thank you, Clyde, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I know there's negative people in, like, like for instance, that comment I put up on my group today. You know, that's a guy that's been tailing me for years. You know, that name has popped up many times, trying to take the opportunity to sort of put me down on that. But you just got to accept that that's their way of, of of getting their enjoyment, and don't let it get bug you. You know, just carry on. Like I say, the chat, your my channel's flying, so it doesn't matter what they do. I just got to keep doing what I do. You know, they can do what they do. It, that makes no difference to me. I just keep doing what I do, and the channel keeps growing. It's a simple equation, you know. And that is the same thing for everyone. Roy, mate, you're a legend. Roy, thank you. Take it easy. Roy, thank you for the amazing contribution. And we'll see you again, hopefully, all right? Yeah, that's it. Just keep being you and you can't lose. That's it. Yeah. Your integrity shines through. That's why you shouldn't be worried about doing it. In the beginning, it's difficult. Because no one knows you and you're putting your face out to the world. So, for instance, say you've got 10 subscribers or five. And you go out there and you start a channel. You get five subscribers, but none of them know who you are. They don't know your integrity. You haven't. They haven't come to know you or who you are or your values. So you're sort of, they're sort of feeling you out, seeing what the channel's about and that. But one of them could be a really bad egg. And he's in there spreading false stuff and trying to slag you off. Might be someone you know or you've upset uh, who you've told about your channel, like I say, who you think is a friend. Um, but they're doing everything they can to put you down. And, of course, the other five people on your channel don't know you yet. And at that stage, when you get that sort of grief early in the channel, it can cause you to pack down. 
because you're thinking, God, what are people thinking? You know, they might believe this is true. But where things aren't true, you just got to keep going because the truth always comes through and your integrity and passion will be seen for what it is. You know, I went through hell in the first couple of, well, the first year of doing this was hell. You know, the things that trolls were spreading about me. But, you know, it quickly became clear because I weren't stopping, you know what I mean? Nothing was stopping. Like I say, it's my dream and they can't stop me doing it. I just got to keep doing what I do. And, and I say, you've just got to keep doing what you do. And if it's working in the most, you know, for 90% of the time, you just keep doing it. But yeah, there are times there where the average person would have said, I'm done with this. You know, I've had enough. But I didn't. And I kept going. And uh, the channel is growing and, and people know me. And uh, they know what I'm about now. You know, we're a couple of years in. And a lot of you guys have been on the channel for ages. So it's a lot of say it's hard at first. You shouldn't be put off by doing it. I mean, I don't know what the reasons are for people not wanting to do it. But if it's worrying about what others are going to say, then don't worry about that. Just do it. Just be you. You'll quickly know if you're you're not for everyone's liking. <laughs> I know I'm not. But I just carry on anyway. I don't care. You know, if you, it, I don't care if, of people's negative views. Because I've been it with everything on this channel. I've had the worst things said that you, you can possibly say about anyone in this life. Stuff that would potentially get you killed. That people have, that trolls just come on and throw at you. You know, and then they wonder why when you find out who they are and expose them. You know, they, they wonder why that is, but... Uh, yeah, but you you just got to be confident in, in yourself and your integrity and, and just do what you do and, and you just keep growing. Keep going and keep growing. That's all it is. Keep going and keep growing. Grow an audience that loves you. So, you know, you don't have to worry about doing it because you can keep the people that love you and get rid of the people that don't. It's as easy as that. When someone comes on here and they they don't fit in, they're gone following him around on today's video and he had to change location to get rid of them. Yeah, Martin, yeah, it can be it can be tricky like that. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I mean, I don't mean I have, I've had people following me literally. I mean, online, you know, stalk, online sort of stalking and harassment. You know, that's sort of an everyday thing. Online stalking and harassment, but that's an everyday thing. Like I say, it's all part of it. I haven't had anyone actually follow me around in real life. But it might happen one day, you know. Well, it will. But you've got to accept it. And that. It's all part of what we do. It's part of being live, you know. Part of being live and... But yeah, like I say, you can keep the good people around you and delete the, the idiots. So you don't have to worry about it. As long as you are true and just in what you do, it don't matter. It don't matter. Gonna bring in that right hand rod and change that worm bait now. We had a couple of tippy tappies, there might be something sat on it. I'm gonna change that worm bait and get it back in. Because I think that'll probably be the last worm in the next cast. Actually, I'll just put all the worm on for the last cast. Cheers, a lot of angry people around these days. I notice it when I'm driving. I am rubbish driver. I suppose, but even so. <laughs> 
Uh, there's a lot. Hang on, that don't. That's not right. Uh, there's a lot of angry people around today. I'm an angry driver, uh, a rubbish driver. Yeah. Well, if you're cutting them up and that, <laughs> yeah, you can expect to see a lot of angry people driving around you. They're probably perfectly decent drivers, but you're all over the place and cutting them up. <laughs> Thus, bringing out their frustrations. <laughs> But no, yeah, you're quite right. There's a lot of angry people around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of angry people on my estate. I mean, I do run around naked and that, but I just don't understand why. <laughs> yeah, right. Right, mate, let's go to space. Oh, it's almost a full moon. We must be right back up on the spring tide soon. Ooh. Werewolves of London. Put that in the rubbish bag in a minute. Last worm going in. Get that in the bin. I've got loads of rubbish in my motor to chuck out. I've stuck it all in there today, ready to go to the bin. So I've got to do a clear out of the car at some point. So what's wrong with people? Say, why people just chill and do get their water up? <laughs> Yeah, that's just life, man. It's just life. People just get angry. Like, so I've had people hating on here for nothing. Oh, when I say nothing, you know, something as pathetic as asking them not to swear. Now, I was getting hell from a group of people just because I asked one of them not to swear. They didn't like that. Chose to slag me off everywhere. You know, threats, threats and that, coming from all sort of angles and that. But, uh, yeah, so it can be that simple, you know, they, they just don't get it. It's not their gig. Yeah. 
the last say you just got to not worry about it and just crack on. I like say if I just keep being me, keep doing what I do. Well, if I change me to you, you know, keep doing what, keep being you, keep doing what you do. You know, you'll quickly find out if what you're doing is getting you more good than bad. If it's getting you more bad than good, you know, you need to stop. You know, I've only got five or six folk that truly hate on me. Which ain't bad for 8,000 subscribers. You know. The only thing is that when it's 16,000 subscribers, if we double that number, it's going to be, say, 6 to 8, 16 you know, 14 to 16 people that really hate you, you know, and, and are insanely jealous or bitter over what you do. And you, then if you double that again, you know, and, and, you know, 8, 16, 24 insane, insanely jealous folk that really don't like what you do with the passion, then you've got to start you know, then it things start, you know, as the subscribers in, increase, the haters obviously increase. You know, so we're at a good place at the moment where I've only got, like, say, six to eight true passionate haters. But as the channel grows, that number will grow, you know, and, and then there's increased risk. So the channel's great in that it's growing, but as the channel grows, so does the risk. You know, so, I mean, I have no doubt that people that haven't been upset now will be upset in the future, and, and who knows what will happen one day. You know, you just got to enjoy it, not think about that, and, and crack on and do what you do. But, uh, you know, that's all just part of the game. I was watching a really sad video the other day where a bloke used to travel the world with his cat. It was called the backpack, the backpacking cat or something, the backpacker cat. And this bloke was really popular. The cat had its own channel, like a million subscribers just saved. So it's something ridiculous. Uh, and they put the, someone poisoned the cat, you know, out of jealousy. They had the autopsy done. It was killed, you know. So the risk of the channel getting really big is, is high. Because there are people out there who are just insane and insanely get insanely jealous and will do anything they can to stop you. Uh, for instance, killing this poor bloke's cat. And there's been lots of instances of that, you know, sort of thing. But I'm not naive to it because I'm well first in what happens on the internet and doing this sort of thing you just got yeah if you look if you google the backpacker cat it was really really sad story the bloke was in bits but he gave his haters what they wanted really in that he done a video the moment he found the cat he shouldn't have done that that gave his haters what they wanted because they want to see your pain and suffering. Like, believe me, they do. They want to see you hurt, your pain, your suffering. That's what they do. That's where they get their kicks. And they killed his cat and he did a video. He was in bits. It's a hard watch if you're a cat lover because he's holding the cat, kissing it and all that, you know, and it's dreadful. But there would have been people watching that video rubbing their hands together because that's what they wanted. So when I say there's people that are insanely jealous, you just never know what they're gonna do. So you shouldn't enter this naively. This is why I don't agree when, not don't, that I don't agree, but you've gotta be so careful when you get your family involved with it, with your, what you do. This is why no one's ever seen any of my family on this channel. Because there was one guy, TikTok I think it was, his house got petrol bomb with his kids in it. 
can't remember his name. But yeah, they, they set fire to a car at the front of his house. Oh no, they yeah, the car got done. Petrolled the car. And it set fire to his house. The Smiths family, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, the Smithy family, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a couple of haters went, set fire to the car which in turn set fire to the house while he was asleep in there with his kids. He lost everything. Saved the kids. You know, so I encourage you people to live their dream. But do it on, doing it on here is, comes with a lot of risk. And I would advise people get their families involved if they do it. You know, I'm pretty clued up on on it all. I know what to expect, but my my family don't. So I wouldn't naively get them involved because they ain't got a clue. This is why I don't have people on Facebook. Because you don't know you're adding. So you get loads of requests from random people on Facebook. Don't accept them. Because one day you'll be letting someone in and you'll expose your entire family and everything that you've got on your Facebook to a hater. And that is deadly, potentially. So I don't accept friends' requests. Just saw another shooting star, guys. Shame the rod wasn't a bit higher. Tragic stuff. Yeah, but it's so true. It's so true. People call it paranoia. I agree. Yeah, it is. They can call it what they want. Uh, it keeps you and your family safe. Yeah, absolutely. And if it's not paranoia, nothing to worry about. It's all good anyway. <laughs> if nothing ever happened, great. But yeah, you you got to, you know, I've experienced it, you know, so I know, I know, I know it's there. I've had that hate. Like I was saying earlier, when you start your channel, the hate I was getting, the, the things people were saying, I'd like say stuff that would get you killed, honestly, and with no shame. They do it with no shame. Because they don't, they can't do the job. So they say stuff hoping that it will get a gang of others together that will do the job, you know. Yeah, meet your shower. Yeah, I just saw another. I've seen two shooting stars tonight. Not as many as I was expecting or that they said would fall. But yeah, we've seen a few. Seen a few out there. Whoa, blackberry, wambo lamb. I said it went bam, wambo lamb, blick a lamb, bam, bam. Wambo lamb, whoa, blackberry, wambo lamb. I am the fisherman. How you doing, all right? You're back. Nice. Glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. I did say to a guy earlier, we probably wouldn't be live in that two hours. He was coming back on. I'm not sure who it was, but we are still live. And I don't know if he's going to pop back in. But I'm going to start thinking of wrapping up here shortly, guys. Let's have a look at the time. 1.30, I think we should probably give it to 2 and then break down. What's that banging noise? Whoa, black belly, wamba lamb. There we are, two, two seconds later, gentlemen. Actually, I might throw some of my rubbish in that bit. Oh, it's the council, the council are doing the bins. 
Right, give me two seconds, guys. I've got some rubbish to dump. I'm going to go and grab it and chuck it in the bins here. Quick. Did I miss any big bites, guys? Did I miss any big bites? Yeah, it's been a while since we saw the bites. Rocket man, burning up my fuel and heading home. Scooby dooby doo, and I know it's gonna be a long, long time. Do 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 do, and I think it's gonna be a long, long time till the touchdown brings me down again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh no, 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 cause I'm a rocket man. Rocket man, burning up my fuel and heading home. Do 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 do, and I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Oh, you off, Roger. Roger, take care, mate. We'll be off soon as well. We'll be off ski, ladies and gentlemen. I might just start a slow wrapping up now. Make sure I've got everything in the right area. Let's get this. Right, let's start putting stuff over by the rods. And starting the old, the achy, breaky down. And I know it's gonna be a long, long time. Yeah, the bite has slowed up. Oh, see the breath now, though. So how cold it is. That is proper chilly now. It's nice in the shelter because the wind's behind you. You don't feel it at all. It's deceptive. You know, if we were out there on the sib exposed to this freezing wind, oh, oh, would be very nice. I mean, there's not much wind, but what's there is very chilly indeed. the whiting rod first yeah it is cold out here <laughs> it is cold I'll pack down the whiting rod because I've just put the worm in
I'm just going to sort out these crab baits. I mean, there's no wind here now. That's a, pl that's a plastic bag falling straight to the ground. That's how much wind there is. Right, these rigs can go in the bin. I, I use the rig twice, so that one's been used twice. Those ones on the rod have been used once, so those will be repacked. And, uh, oh, hang on, oh yeah. And nothing really took this one as well, so that's basically almost a brand new rig. Now we've got the hook sharpeners as well which are well handy. Sharpen them up, not that they need it. But...
I saw a little rattle then. A shake, a rattle and roll. Well, that was lovely. It's crazy, isn't it? The difference between one little bite to catching the target species and going home without it. Because we only caught one ray tonight. I mean, we caught one, we expected to catch one and we caught one. And I was saying earlier on that it's not really luck because they're there now. But you know, when you only catch one, you can't help but think there's a little bit of luck in that. Because it could have been none and we haven't had another one tonight. But I'm quite excited about the prospect of targeting them over the coming evenings. Be nice to get a few out while they're here in number because we've struggled on the race and we've even spoke about how we've struggled on the race recently but they're here now so I think we need to hit them hard get a few out I'd like to get a, a 10 I know there's a few 10s coming out round here as well right through they're everywhere Got a prospect for some nice fish. My PB form back is 14 pounds. I don't think we'll beat that. It'd be nice to get a double out. Right, I'm bringing in the worm, guys. So this rod brings in our final tally. If there's no fish on this, obviously. That's our final tally for the night. So let's have a little gander. Nah, feels well light. It's hard to say. That could just be lead on there. I mean, that tide's gone out a long old way, quick. No, nothing on there. There's about five knots in that though. So we've had a strap conga hit that and wrap it up. Made a bit of a mess. Dreadfully frustrating. Needle sharp, these little rigs, which is good.
old bag does there, isn't it? I can't believe it's so cold out here. We've gone from the end of winter straight back into winter. I thought we'd seen the last of it, you know. We've had a long, rough winter and the end of summer, and now we're doing it all again. It just doesn't seem fair. At least it's not raining. Could be worse. Could be raining and southerly winds. It's not raining and it's northerly winds. I don't see any foxes. They're usually lining up as we break down. Filberts hiding somewhere. No, Billy Barks. Billy Bart, no. Ooh. It's chilly. It's been lovely in there all night. We've got another probably at least seven days of it being proper cold. It's bad. Can't wait for it to end. Just don't want to be cold anymore. The winters are long. Too long, the summers are too short.
all dead battery. I mean, it does five hours, so it's a shame they have to be replaced, but it's just not enough for now. Now it's died down. When you buy them brand new, they'll do 12 hours, like for a year. I forgot to put the guitar away. Is that moon on the water yet? You can sort of see it glistening. Yeah, like that. There's a good view. Slightly got it glistening on the water a bit there. There you go. Right, just get this guitar down. Get this guitar down. Thank you, guys, you legends. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my nostrils are freezing now. I'm glad I got that tooth sorted. That would have been nasty in this cold, that horrible aching cold tooth. Oh, so glad it's gone. Right, let's get this in there, that and that has to go. Let's get my jumper on, that'll coat, that'll make things a bit easier. Put stuff in their pockets. Right, I'll be running up to the car in a sec. Right, I need to get that trolley out. So that means I have to pack the bag away. Right, I'm just pulling the power supply on the good battery. I can't believe I lost the harmonica, Veronica the harmonica, that's the bed for What's in that packet there? Oh, more power cables. Spare power cables. Oh.
Right, I shall return, guys. Enjoy that beautiful moonlight and lovely rippling waters. And I shall return. I've got a big old hill to climb. But we love it. I love it. Right guys, so I can pat this down and not worry too much because there's no wind. Usually it's a bit of a bugger. Not to that. There's just no wind. Well, I'll get this lot in the car, then I'll come and get you. Well, I'll say there's no wind, so I can leave you there.
So I'll see you in a second guys. Beautiful. Oh, right, it's down to sit on the bench for a moment. There's one. Oh, there's one up there actually, that's a better one. So we were down the steps at Daedalus today. I have some mark I haven't fished for quite some time. Well, it didn't really make a difference where we put the rods in tonight because of what we're targeting, because they're everywhere. Oh. Oh. All right, let's just put this up a minute. We've done it. We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. So we were down there fishing on that beach into that water that you see in front of us. We've done it. And so what have we learned tonight? We've learned that the rays are there, that you can target them and expect to catch them. But what we've also learned is that if you hear that people are catching rays, they're little ones. The little ones, so target the little ones. Sweet corn kid, how are you, mate? Yeah, I had a little ray. That's quite true. I mean, we've had a few fish. I think I had six dogfish, uh, three pout, a whiting, and a ray, little ray. So that's quite chuffed. How did you get on is more important. I know you've been on a very exciting mission tonight. 
make a good thumbnail. Yeah, well, the first one, the, the sunset as well. What I'm thinking of doing is putting a sunset with me and the ray. So it's cutting me out with the ray and putting it with the sun setting as it was, because that was stunning. Those, that sunset was beautiful. Mad Veteran, how are you doing? How, hey, Will. Mate, how many fish species did you catch? Four. So I had dogfish, pout, whiting, and ray. So I had four species tonight, but it could have been more than that. We could have had an eel. We could have had bass. We could have had smooth hound. You know, so there, there was, there could have been a lot more than that. You have one little small, I'd say the blank. Oh. <gasps> Wow. Yeah, beautiful. Well, at least you, you target acquired. Target acquired. Yeah, I've heard there's a lot of rays coming out. I would have gone with you, but it was just, I, I slept way, I mean, I was awake all day and I didn't want to mess you around. So I was like, look, man, I ain't slept. I'm not going to wake up in time, you know. But I'm glad to hear that you caught fish. You caught what you went to catch, a ray. But there's, there's loads in the Solent at the minute. So you do well to stick local if you want to save a bit of fuel. There's plenty of undies to come out, uh, uh, form backs, and they're beautiful little pups. I love them. Those little ones are just so amazing. Perfectly formed. And their tails have got these two little bits at the end, like the little paddles. They're just incredible. What bait did you use for the Ray? And well done, mate. I can't wait to go fishing with you and Raymond of Cumbria. It's going to be awesome, Mad Vet. Awesome. Yeah, it'll be very good fun. I used ragworm to catch my Ray today, but they're getting them on all sorts. Sprat, they're catching them on. Sand eels, mostly. Um, I had mine on rag. You can't, you can't fail with rag. rag. Rag will attract any of the species that are out there. If you're targeting specific and they're little, uh, a ragworm will do it. Another time, I think I had the spot slightly wrong. Okay, all right. No, that's all right. Yeah, no, no problem. At least, like I say, at least you called it. Yeah, worth it listening to the seashore. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear it. it's been so gentle out there. It's beautiful. And you can see the light reflected across the entire ocean as well i don't know if you can see the reflection from that red light it's not going to show up properly is it you can't really see but i can see that, unlike yesterday i can see that the sea is smooth because the light is reflected across the entire ocean so you can see the lights of southampton reflected right down to the shore and that means all of the sea between here and southampton is flat and that's not in a bay either. So I can see the flat reflective moonlight. I can see the water's flat out there at distance where it would usually be rough. I can see all the lights reflected down to the beach across the back there, but the light's not picking up too well here. But I can see reflected light straight down to the beach. So it's flat everywhere. It's just cold. That's the only thing keeping us off the water. Because we fish over by that yellow light. So we definitely don't want to be out there in this cold. That's where we fish when we fish over by that yellow light. When we take the sib out. Directly in line with that. Actually, where is the buoy that we fish? See if I can see it flashing now. There's too many out there going at the minute. But yeah, we're in line with that yellow light out right out there. So has to be right and safe for us but yeah beautiful night beautiful night for it perfect view of the needles oh really blimey you were all the way around todd yeah it'd be awesome mate wouldn't it eh thank you thank you man and likewise likewise all right guys well beautiful night thank you for being there Amazing company throughout the evening. Always makes it bearable when the bite's a bit slow, you know. I think the bite was all right tonight. We had plenty of fish. 
So it wasn't like it was a slow night. I, you know, we just, I think it's just the anticipation of not catching what we came for for so long. And then you think, oh God, time's ticking on. We haven't caught what we came for. And then you start to get a bit like, mm, damn, this ain't going very well. But I should know by now that if you've got a bait in the water, you know, anything can happen. And it did. Four and a half hours in, we caught the target species. It's putting the hours in to get the results. But we'll see what we can do here again tomorrow. I haven't got any worm now, so we'll be on our standard baits. So probably targeting the bigger stuff. But we'll see what we can find. The temperature plummeted. Yeah, it's cold here now. Thank you, G. Thank you. Right, guys, in five seconds, we'll shut this down. We'll shut this down and we'll leave this beautiful, stunning scenery with this incredible moon and, and water. Debbie! Hey! Absolutely stunning. And we'll dash off gentle lapping waves on the water there. I imagine the weather's going to be just the same tomorrow, so we'll have beautiful um, steady seas. We'll bite detection will be ideal, no doubt. So... You know, we do the same thing tomorrow. Better tides as well. The high tide's coming up in our favour. So we've got great tides, great conditions. Incredible. Gee, thank you. In four seconds, ladies and gentlemen, we shall shut down. And I shall reply to the emails that I've had. Because when people have done PayPal's tonight, it comes through as email. And then I reply to each email. So when I'm done here, I'll be... That's one of the things I do. I make a point of replying. So thank you, guys. In three seconds, we will shoot off. What would herring and mackerel cocktail catch, Will, mate? Herring and co mackerel cocktail is an absolutely deadly conga bait. I mean, at the moment, you can expect dogfish on, and, you know, until you've been fishing a number of years, and you can sort of work out what they're, the size of baits and looks they're not taking. But if you're chucking in a sort of average size cocktail of that sort, you're going to get some dogfish. But it's not all bad because if you fish through the dogs, something else will find the bait eventually. But, I mean, it's a good bait, that. You know, it's a good bait. I mean, anything could hit it. I mean, I know what will definitely hit it, conger eels and dogfish. But, you know, you could get a bass on that. You could get a ray on it. You know, I don't know about a smooth hound picking that up, but they will hit a mackerel. I don't know about herring. Steve, you're welcome, mate. And thank you for being there. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome. Well, that's not my first ray. <laughs> I've had a few rays. But it was the first one of tonight. In three seconds, guys. We'll shut this down. Yeah, a mackerel herring combo. Of course, it depends on the size of that bait as well. I mean, to make a decent sort of sausage, it's bait. So it's going to be targeting a decent sized fish. We're still early in the season, you know. We've got a lot of the young stuff around, a lot of the small stuff. Thank you, Steve. It's like spring when all the baby birds come out, you know. We're at that time of year. All the baby birds are out. All the baby fish are out. We're seeing loads of young straps, loads of young uh, school bass are about. We haven't caught them here, but I know they're about in the creeks. And that uh, we've got loads of young rays, which are hatching now and getting to feeding size. Uh, loads of dogfish pups, you know, smut pups will be coming in. So there's, there's loads of little stuff out there at the moment. So it's a good time of year to be chucking your two flappers out with, you know, size one and below. You know, it's great for um, competition fishing. There's loads of stuff to be had on the little baits. And the comps are doing great as a result. Pulling loads of lovely species up. But yeah, start with little baits and work your way up, you know. It's, I'm glad I went small on my baits tonight because we got that ray. If I'd have gone big like I usually do, we wouldn't have got it. You know, when I caught that whiting, and it was the right time of tide to get that in, and it did get it. 
it just didn't get taken, which is unfortunate. But that's the gamble we take. But it worked. You know, we got that race. I'm quite pleased. Two seconds, lazy German. You're going to try that today. All right. Oh, you, you, you're going to fish it in the day, mad vet. Yeah. Oh, okay. The daytime. Yeah. See, at the moment in the day, you've got a chance to bream and bream and smooth hounds. I'd be sort of gearing up for. So you want to be erring on the side of crab baits and ragworm. I mean, your combos are great. But for daytime fishing, slightly different. See, I don't, don't do a lot of day fishing. Uh, Todd, thank you so much. Thank you. In one second, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to shut this down. I'm going to say thank you for your company and your time again. Uh, you put as many hours in as I do, and tonight it paid off. We got into a ray. We came to catch one. Uh, we had one. you got loads of sand deal left, sweet corn. Nice. Yeah, I think I'll be hitting the rays again tomorrow. I'll be chucking a few sand eel baits around. They're everywhere. I mean, um, Jack had one on a little strip of a sprat. You caught a whiting on Sunday. Yeah, it's, that, it's difficult in the day at the moment. When the whiting are in, they're a great day species. But like I say, you want to be using smaller rigs in the day. Actually, there's place. You've got a chance of place in the day. But you want to be using small rigs. You know... The, the smooth hounds aren't really in just yet, you know, otherwise you want to be going slightly heavy. For those are the only real heavy daytime target species or a bass if you're in the right area. But otherwise I'd be going with a couple of flapper rigs, small looks, you know, crab and worm baits. But your combo might chuck up a nice surprise. Like I say, it does, I don't know about the sizes you're using, but... Give it a go. It's all you can do. Give it a go. You know, you've got the passion there, so I don't think you'll be too disheartened if nothing takes it. You know, maybe chuck it in for an hour or two if enough, If you don't get any tippy-tappy. That, that's a good thing with a combo bait as well. If you've got a decent-sized combo bait and you chuck it out there and it's getting hits but they're not hooking up, you can always downsize. You can downsize the hooks and downsize the bait. And this is where stinger rigs come in handy as well. Um, but... That's a different, that's for a different LMF. <laughs> Am I fishing tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be trying to get out tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Like a size two, as I used a 4.0. Yeah, 4 O's a bit big at the moment. Well, it's perfect for hounds, but they, like I say, they're not quite in. 2.0, I'd say, is more, What well, you know, I'll be chucking one O's out there at the minute just to be, Save the blank. Chuck a, a, pair, a couple of one O's or smaller to save the blank. And then when you're content or if you're content with a fish that saved you the blank, get the other gear on. Then you won't leave disappointed. If you go straight with big stuff, chuck it in and you're blank, you'll be, dis you'll be disappointed if you're getting loads of bites and nothing happens. Go with or maybe one big, one small. You know, you just got to test the water out there and see what, what you can do to land the fish. Like I say, as long as you don't leave leave disappointed, that is all that matters. You know, you've got to do whatever it takes to get that fish on that hook. You're on one O's tonight with a single trimmed sand deal. Yeah, and you landed a ray, so it worked. Target species, one O, caught you the fish. So yeah, I'd be using one O's or less at the moment. I mean, I was using tiny little looks here tonight. You're welcome, Mad Vet. That's only my view on that advice. There might be someone else that tells you that's absolute rubbish and they'll give you some advice of their own. You know, so it's good to ask around. But that's what I do, you know. But it might not necessarily be what you want to do or what other people do. I can only give you my take on it. But and hopefully it helps you out with the plethora of other knowledge that you'll gain from other fishermen. You know, you'll, you'll find your own style eventually and you'll know what will work. You know, we can only help to guide along the way. Right, guys, we are done. I look forward to seeing you all on the next Local Marts Fishing Live show. Please do join us at some point, hopefully tomorrow, all right? Be there or risk being square and you don't want to be a square all right 
Five pounds smooth out. Nice, mad. Oh, okay. Oh, well, well, then that that changes things considerably. Then, mad fair. Yeah. So, it, yeah. You, you. I mean, this is your first year in the fishing and your first time getting your gear together. So you're you've started fishing at a very exciting time. You want to be getting crab baits in, crab, squid, and worm baits. Leave leave the that combo you said earlier. You want to leave that alone for the time being, you know, unless you're happy with it. But if I was you, and you're fishing in an area where if that's local to you, and there's a guy's caught a five pound smooth hound, I would be putting in crab, ragworm, and squid baits, and setting my drag. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one, okay? Be there or be square. Good night, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now, guys. Take care.